Hello, everyone. Welcome to Social Trivia by Susan. We're on game number 185, season four, October 19th, 2023. They should be coming back in a couple minutes. Would you like a pretzel? I'm a dinner. I'm eating pretzels. I have Jello, green Jello. It's the best. Best Jello is green Jello. Diet Dr. Pepper. Breakfast, dinner of champions. <laughs> so they'll be coming back in a minute now. I hope you all are well. I hope you're enjoying the videos. I sure am loving this group. It is been so much fun meeting people from all over the world. And better than that is that they get to meet each other. And that is the absolute best part. Hey, you guys. All right, let me. Oh, almost got not the wrong way. I just see that there's an uh, enable for AI. What the heck? You noticed yeah, that? I, I, yeah, I tried I that about enable, two weeks I ago. And I still haven't gotten it. anything back on it. Did, did you push the button to, to, to do that, Susan? No. Should I? I did, I did it two weeks ago. And let me, let me, let me push the button. What's it do? Oh, there um, we go. That's roll the about. dice. Let's there find out. Yeah. Okay. I'm an AI now. See. Where are you? Hey. I'm wherever I was. You can't see him. He's an AI. Oh, but you've okay. always been there. Okay, we're in AI now, you guys. How does it feel? Oh, I'm Which not. Which means what? Ugh, I, for one, welcome our robot overlords. Apparently, <laughs> like most examples of AI, it doesn't mean a damn thing. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm going to hardly trust anything I read anymore. Maybe I'll put an enable blockchain button on. Okay, for some reason it wants me <laughs> AI to AI companion is on. Okay, yeah, and then it says Romero that. is requesting. We need Vincent to tell us. <laughs> yeah. We're being recorded with okay. AI. Okay. Yeah, yeah it really it should be his choice. <laughs> Welcome well, to AI you companion. Have AI, go get Vincent. Was my name mentioned? It says that. I love the oh. last statement. They should always have this in every AI thing, right before you say "got it" or leave the meeting. AI-generated content may be inaccurate or misleading. <laughs> yes, may. Sa same you as human-generated content. Are we supposed to type in this little box well, it, or something? It says not enough conversation has happened. Try again in a few minutes. With this group, there hasn't been enough conversation. <laughs> Just yet. <laughs> okay. Where, where are you? Where are you seeing this? I clicked on after on my request, I click the button down on the bottom. Guess, which is AI companion. Each person individually has to request AI companion if they want one. Yeah, I I don't. Oh, I, I, I didn't see the box. Where oh, do well. I? Uh, it's at the bottom. The it says version. AI companion, so like a little. It might tell us answers. Star. Yeah, I'm AI, AI might, that button, oh, might be like I Jeopardy. Know. I'm gonna get my wife's permission. So, first. so somebody, <laughs> I, I just, I just clicked She's a button that different. that that says it's going to identify if someone uses my name. So someone else say my name. Rob. Hi, Rob. Rob Palmer. <laughs> no, Rob Palmer's name was not mentioned by other meeting participants. <laughs> and I it waited to say that error. until you actually said Please my try name. try again later. Oh, I got a good one here. During Who is this Rob Palmer guy? I'm not impressed. What, says, what is the point of this? It talks what about is... skepticism in Vincent. <laughs> what is this doing? What is they it... also mentioned the use of AI companions and the need for Vincent. Yeah, <laughs> yeah there he hasn't been here. There is a need for Vincent. Yeah. yeah. There well, so I just clicked it was my me. name mentioned and I got an answer that it wasn't. Yeah. So that's wait, wait, weird. wait. So Romero, what you put up is just what we've been saying? It's catching us up. Yeah, I guess so. suggested what topics had been discussed, and that's no. what so oh. is the point of this AI companion so you can like slack off during a business meeting and have the AI tell you what you missed? <laughs> I think it a little yes, box or to speak for you, like you know, yes. just put input in every now and then, like you know. As, I'm sure as, as opposed to back, the wait until the to... questions go in. W without me doing anything, it just popped up and an error has occurred. Please try again yeah. later. Well, Robin, as opposed to the just old like way person. of doing business meetings where you slack off and you don't get an update. Yeah. <laughs> right. I, I wait for the video after it's over. Oh, okay. Cindy, why did you get a why did you give us a phone number? 
it's I, not exactly a phone cat walking it's, across the computer. It's not screen. a phone number. Actually, I, I hit my keyboard. I was trying to get oh. something underneath it, so I hit my keyboard. I thought, I thought it was. I thought it was a code. Well, there's no time travel because it says you can only ask questions from the time you join the meeting. Well, of course, yeah. yeah. But it's probably going to give you answers to the questions if you use this once we get going. Wow. I asked what topics were discussed. It took a few minutes. And now it says the topics discussed so far include trust and reading. Like, what? Yep. Oh, wait. Wait. The need for Vincent. The need for Vincent keeps <laughs> showing up we, online. We, we saw that. It yeah. says requesting Vincent online. And it says yeah, typing in a little yeah, box. Yes, because I I'm said we need Vincent to. Typing in a little to, box. I like that. Along. Typing in a little box. Typing it a little who, box. Who is in a little box typing? <laughs> I just want to know who it's referring to. That's we can like so entertain this... ourselves like this all night. <laughs> I'm sure so we could. That's a pretty loose definition That's of entertainment. That's very true, Deborah. <laughs> is, this, seems to be uh, is this AI thing something, uh, one of the options that I get from apps? No. No. That, this you, may, is... you may need a newer version of because it didn't show up until I upgraded it. Uh, about a week ago it looks like a north uh, star or something at the very bottom of the screen in the middle oh okay so i'll be back. back i gotta go i'll be back okay. i logged back. on to zoom this evening it uh it updated and that and now i see the uh, ai companion for the first time yeah yeah we just got it okay so i'm, gonna close I'm eating my... the salt off my pretzel all right here we go i like salt how many birds does Kyle have now? He just I is a babysitter. Any. He doesn't have any with him today. No birds. Oh, birds. Just, oh, it says future meeting will be like this. Oh, this is from, from and Carl. And Kyle seems to have frozen. That's why I wondered about I'll birds. do this and Susan won't know who you're talking about. You put it. <laughs> Where are you? Uh, I think Kyle just disappeared. <laughs> yeah, Kyle disappeared. Oh, uh, we just have the the ersatz, Kyle. Otherwise, oh, I see Carl. this. I see His this hotel screen. connection isn't that great. Real either. genius classroom montage. That's good. I Jay. remember seeing this. They had a, a a joke about this once. Is that the 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 teacher would be up there, the professor would be speaking. Yeah, this makes sense. And everybody <laughs> come in and put the recorders, and then the teacher would eventually just go ahead and give their yeah, at, math at on the, tape. At is the hard end of the movie, there's it. no teachers. There's just a reel to reel, and like all the. Hi, honey. Come say hi. We're just starting. Here comes Mark. We're That's just when you when, when you're the cooking. teacher that gives the pop quiz. Let's oh, yeah, well, hurry up and start before early. my brother forgets all hi, Mark. the questions. Hi, Mark. Hello, Hello, Mark. Hello. 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 Mark's here. Hi, hi Mark. Mark. I'll see Mark, you all next week, next week, right? See you next week. Looking yes, forward to it. All right, Mark. I thought about that story you told me about that performance artist instructor you had this or that like years and years ago. I just thought of that the other day. Wait, which performance artist was that? I don't know. We were talking and you said you had this uh, instructor, an art instructor, I think, that said this or, or that. that. That's all of the whole world. That's all it is, is this or that. <laughs> he Philosophy. broke it down pretty simply, Very, yes. That's profound, yep. Yep. I, I think Have it's interesting. Time, guys. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's Sorry. do our team names. So we've got Alan, Brian, Jim, Peggy, and Robin. Robin, I switched over to this team because... A couple of these people are going to be leaving, so I thought I better get you in there. Yeah. Team one is bed bug for speaker. Mm. <laughs> nah. yes. Oh my god, what a mess! <laughs> All right, Bill, Gail, Janine, and Ron. Our name. Whoops, I'm sorry. Oops, I'm um, sorry. Give intern Josh this house speakership. <laughs> probably do a whole lot better who's josh is it just a made-up name no there's a an intern there's an intern at the in congress at name least josh. A high school according, boy it's zach at, at least it? a, yeah at least according to some andy um, satirical Barwitz. yes yeah andy, andy Barwitz. Barwitz. yeah yeah right. i'm not sure that's the best source of accurate information i bet there's a josh though <laughs> There is but a job. So it is one of the best sources of information. <laughs> yeah. Is I say Josh to, to be speaker to be a certain age, the same age that you have to be nope. president since you're second in line. Nope. Nope. Could Wait, I got a quick question. Dog? 
Okay, I have a quick question. Let me ask you this. If they had made Mitt Romney speaker, would he have to resign as a, a senator? No. Of course not. He would just show up and just he'd, he'd pound hold the gavel. Both seats. He'd hold both seats. And he wouldn't vote. He can't vote in the House. He would just be... Correct. Okay. Correct. That's, all right. Except that he, he could vote if there was a tie. Like the vice president? Yes. All right. Carolyn, Cindy, Jamie, Jane, and Kyle. Where's our other Jane these days? Oh, we are sick of stupid Republican jokes, all 221 of them. <laughs> How about the 49 in the Senate? Well, that's, yeah, we're not sick of that. Right now, the Senate is the good guys. They're still okay. Uh -oh. they're, they're keeping their, their, they seem sane. Ben, Brandy, Leonard, Lee, and Deborah. Lee's not here yet. Keeping with the uh, theme of, uh, team names 16 or bust. Mm -hmm. I don't get it. 16? It, it took 15 what, number of votes, votes to get McCarthy oh. in. So oh. we're, we're thinking this time it's going to be 16. Oh my God. Please don't let us, <laughs> oh, Please don't let it be Kevin. I mean, uh, <laughs> Jim Jordan. Oh my God. Please no. No, oh, he's, he's quitting for now. He's withdrawing for now. Oh, no, they... no, he changed his oh, mind. He changed his mind. Uh, he changed his mind. mind. They're going to in the last hour. Change. He doesn't have a mind to change. <laughs> no, he's gonna, he's gonna lose because he's strong arm Republicans who aren't gonna vote for him, and it's gonna and it's blowing up in his face. I think he's gonna win because people are just gonna get strong armed and they're gonna just have to. No, they're gonna they're gonna stand up. They're getting death threats. They're getting death, which is gonna make them cowards. Cowards just no, buckle under. No, no, they've already gone to I the. Bet you, Cindy. They've gone I'll to bet the you. police. They've gone to the police. No, but I bet they're going to do it. They're going to no, say, I think oh, Kevin didn't have anything to do with it. Tired right, let's let's move on. <laughs> I want to argue. <laughs> it's great that there's some Republicans on the receiving end of death threats instead of only on the giving end of death threats. Yeah, <laughs> others have been going, so welcome to our world. Carl, <laughs> yeah. Kevin, Romero, Rob. Not looking good. We have three votes. We still haven't selected a new team name. <laughs> 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 I like it. <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> Jim Jordan for for team name. No, um, I'll okay, speak. very good. All right, all right. So we're on game number one hundred and eighty five, season four, October nineteenth, twenty twenty three. Mark, you want to listen? Bed bug, bed bug for speaker versus give intern Josh the house speakership. Versus we're sick of stupid Republican jokes, all 221 of them, versus 16 or bust, versus it's not looking good. We held three votes and we still haven't selected a new team name. Who will be the winner tonight? Mark, do you know? Bed bugs. Bed bugs. Mark's <laughs> picking bed bugs. <laughs> all right. Who wasn't one of the choices? Yeah, who are? Okay. So next week is PsyCon week. So a lot of us will be missing. I hope that most of you all of you who are not at psycon to please show up because ben's gonna be running it we'd like to have enough for several teams come on now so we've got to, next week we already have a few volunteers romero peggy and jamie's running the bonus so i am looking for two more volunteers who will definitely be here so keep that in mind and i'm getting ready to start the game you guys getting ready to start the game we're starting off with somebody new that hasn't had a, <clears throat> a category in a while and we're starting off with Gail. I mean, no, Alan, followed by Gail, followed by Kyle, followed by Lee, followed by Bonus Rob. All right. So Alan and our our mute master is Deborah. It is. So, uh huh. Okay. So Alan, you are getting I'm your special powers before. right now. So wah, wah, wah. here comes your special powers. You're Where's up. Where's the mutey thing? Uh, it's definitely... under participants, I think. Right, guys. Yes, participants. Okay. Click on participants. Oh, I see it. Okay. okay. Alan, what's your team? What's your category? People I have worked with. Okay. So right. here we go. I think I got this figured out. All so right. I'm muting in two, three, one. <laughs> Unmute yourself, Alan. You don't quite have it figured out, Alan. You Unmute yourself, Alan. Happens. 
sorry about that. I thought I, uh, yeah. Um, okay. I actually have uh, 11. I just, there was one I just wanted to add. So it's, if you get, if you, I, I, I'm thinking there's going to be some tens out of this, you know, I don't think this is a particularly challenging 10 questions, but we'll see. Oh, oh shit. Right. not again. <laughs> what? You blew it when you tell us it's going to be famous last word. Yeah. All right. Well, good. I, I, I hope I'm wrong, but here we go. Okay. So hang on. Uh, Okay. Um, okay. So, uh, damn. Oh, there it is. Okay. So, question number one, I'll put it in a second. A titan of many genres of 20th century American music didn't need a fake nose. That's number one. Are you going to say it, Janine, or should I? What happened? Go for it, Rob. Did, did I not send it? Did I did I send it? Yeah, Janine likes you to do it, and I agree. Do it, put it, put it in, and then read it. Oh, okay. And I didn't. So I did. I put it in. I didn't send it. Did I? Mm -mm. No. Okay. Sorry about that. There you there go. There you go. But yeah, okay. put them in, and then read so it. I'll read it again. A titan of many genres of 20th century American music didn't need a fake nose. All right. Um. The largest of the three tenors. And I didn't say that. Master by volume. <laughs> um oops. All right. Sorry. I uh I, Janine, by the time I get to 10 or 11, I'll have it figured out. Okay. We don't want to make Janine mad now. No, no. Okay, hang on. Okay, and okay, and okay. Um, all right. What am I at? At three. This is a late American singer, dancer, actor, comedian, goodwill ambassador. And court jester. Yeah. Okay. Um, actor born with a speech impediment was not my father. Okay, sorry. What what number am I on anyway? Here now. Um, Just put in four. So this is five. Okay, so this is five. Because I want to make sure the numbers are in here. Okay. Yep. All right. Here we go. <laughs> number five sang great behind the curtains. Daughter was a princess. Okay, number six. This signore has to be careful not to fall off the stage or walk into walls, but he sure can carry a tune. That's Romero. Uh, and I did not send it. Okay, sorry. There you go. This signore has to be careful not to fall off the stage or walk into walls, but he sure can carry a tune. I've, seen, I've heard Romero falls off stage. Just saying. <laughs> okay. So I've been told. Okay. 
Uh, I think I copied this one. I'll copy it again. Okay, here we go. Number seven. Number seven. Face puffed up like a frog when playing his funny looking instrument. Right. Shit. Hold on. I just lost. Is that number something. eight? Yeah, no, no, no. Uh, eight just disappeared. I got to retype it. Hang on. Um, I don't know where where it. Uh... Control Z. Control Z. Would that give it back? Yeah. Potentially, yeah. You may have just. Okay. Um, I'm gonna have to do it more than once. To Ooh, finish. you're so good. All right, thank you. Oh my okay. gosh, we just made a miracle happen. I love Control Z. Yeah, really. <laughs> Saves okay. you so much. All right, and this is this is. Uh, Eight. It's almost as good as control Y, which less people know about. What does that do? Repeat whatever you did last. He'll oh, make you happy. He'll make you happy. So you don't worry. worry. Oh, damn it. Send it. Send it. Send it. Send it. He'll make you happy. So don't worry. Right? Don't worry. He'll make you happy, Hamilton. Okay, this is nine. Would you do good to cut a boy? Are you a good boy? Are you a good boy? <laughs> yeah. Maybe everybody but Alan should demute themselves so that they don't. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. You don't want to hear me away. talking to my kitty cat. Okay, okay, number nine. The name would lead you to believe that there is one person, but in fact, it's a quartet with singing and a fiddle. Right. All right, this is ten. Right. Great early to mid twentieth century musician with an affinity for animation and could have been confused with Bugs Bunny. Great early mid 20th century musician with an affinity for animation could have been confused with Bugs Bunny. And this is, the, and then the next one is the bonus one. Oops. Little, bro uh, little brother ought to get this one. Uh, actually, everyone will get this one anyway. But uh, okay, so bonus is 11. Although technically we didn't meet or work together, we did make eye contact when the limo she and her hubby were were in passed within a couple of feet of me on their visit to Toronto. She actually had an old distant relative with the same name. And I believe that's it. Hey, do you want to send us to our rooms? Oh, uh, hold on. When I uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got a. I got to figure out how to, uh, I get you guys back here. Okay, so um, breakout. Do I go to breakout rooms? Yes, and then in the right hand corner, it says "Open all rooms in blue." Open all rooms. There you go. We have and... another expert. Okay, okay but the other three. Oh, and how do I move around? Oh, same thing. Breakout rooms. There should be a join in dark blue on the right hand side of each room. Do you see that? Uh, okay, so if I go to my if I go to my room right now, mm -hmm. I can I, I'll still have that join. They'll have yep. that there. All of them will be there. Let me put you guys in your rooms. Bill's going to go. I'm in room five. Two. Kevin, you're in five. Yeah. Five. And Kyle, you are in Denver. <laughs> Three. Karate <laughs> was the big. I need two. Is largest. Yeah, Pavarotti was the big fat one. Do we know number one? That's Le Leonard Bernstein. Which one? One. Which one is Bernstein? Bernstein? Number one. The whole nose controversy over the new movie. 
Wow. Oh. I thought that's I thought of Cerno de Vergiac. And I also thought we were talking about Ty Brachy. Did you read the question? Yeah, he has so, a fake nose. So I thought it might be I thought it might be uh Tycho Brahe. A titan of many genres of 20th century American music. Oh, I thought so, maybe there was a new Tycho Brahe that lost his nose or the something. The new Tycho Brahe new, Neo. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but uh yeah, but uh, yeah, but Tycho Brahe was a great day, not a not a great American. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Well, maybe. Anyway, three so, tenors, you saying it's it's Pavarotti? It's Pavarotti, he was the big one. Okay. Anybody remember three? Um, court gesture. Danny K. Yeah, it's Danny K. Danny K. Okay. Okay, get it. Okay. I don't have four. Does that ring a bell with anybody? Uh, Darth Vader. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Was not my father it has something to do with Star Wars. Oh, okay, that's good. Good. Did he? Yeah. Could it so be the be... actor who played Darth Vader? Who yeah, that's James Earl Jones. Jones. Name, yeah. Or it could be somebody named Steiner. That's what I was thinking. No, no. Either somebody, either somebody with the last name of Steiner or maybe James Earl Jones. Probably James Earl Jones. Does he have I, a speech? He, oh. he probably would have worked like in some thing with James Earl Jones on stage. And I think it seems like I remember he had a, was born with a speech impediment. Hmm. That's interesting. He overcame a speech impediment. And five is also Star Wars related. Oh, okay. Oh, Carrie Fisher was, I mean, uh, Carrie Fisher's mother was uh, Debbie Reynolds. Right. Well, I'm so glad I'm on this team. I wouldn't have. <laughs> okay. So, uh, so uh, 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 what did you, what did you get for four? four James, Earl Jones. James Earl Jones. James Earl Jones. Darth Vader, basically. Okay, number six. And five was Debbie Reynolds. Yeah. 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 And six is Andrea Bocelli. Oh, okay. The blind one. Andrea. I was Bocelli. thinking it was Dean Martin because he was drunk. I was, <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking it was Kelsey Kramer because he actually walked off the stage and he's run. Yes. You know, I didn't realize that. Yeah, you know, that's a little odd, I should say. Okay. Hey, Louis Armstrong is my dog up on the right back. Um, Seven is Dizzy Gillespie and eight oh. is Bobby McFerrin. Yeah. Oh, right, right. I was trying to remember the name of the guy who did the uh, who who did that song, but uh, I yeah, couldn't what remember is it? Bobby McFerrin either. The most, the most annoying song of the eighties, probably. Oh come 80s? on, eighties? No, it was like oh, in the two thousands. It was like twenty fourteen, I think, because I remember. Was it? I I remember. I thought, when... I thought don't, don't worry, be happy was quite a bit early. Was before two thousand. Yeah. But anyway, so, oh, so no. seven was no, I'm seven. Seven. my wife opened for him, and I'm pretty sure it was in the nineties. Yeah. Your, okay. your wife worry, opened for him. What is she? I doing? think it was as far back as the. 90s. She was in a jazz quartet that opened oh, for him. Cool. Okay. I didn't know that. He's been a, he's been on the music scene forever, and yeah. he's written okay. a lot of songs. Yeah. Okay. So seven was so, Dizzy so, Gillespie. Eight, eight is Bobby McFerrin. Nine, I don't know nine either. Um, I was hoping Robert would know this because it sounds kind of like a a fiddling group. Yeah, I know. Well, unless it's a Celtic woman. Oh, that's good. But isn't it Celtic women? Is there? Yeah, I think it is. And there's more than four. But they're not a quartet. And they're mostly dancers. This is the thing. I don't know. Seems, maybe they do. Yeah, it seems to me when I saw a Celtic Netflix. women? No, they're singers, not dancers. Yeah. I thought I saw... Uh, I thought I saw a variable number uh, uh, when, when I, in, in the videos of that bunch that I... Yeah, there's more than four anyway, so... But... Okay, so it's something else. Uh, great early... Could have been confused with Doug's Bunny. Oh. Who voiced Bugs Bunny? What was that guy's name? Mel Blanc. Mel... Mel... Oh, right. Yeah. Oh, uh, wait a minute. But uh, I don't know. I think he was a musician. Yeah, the, well, okay. Uh, Chuck Jones was also involved with Bugs Bunny and uh, who chose the music for Bugs Bunny? Like there was a whole, like, mm -hmm. of, of course, there's a whole bunch. There are a lot of people whose classical music knowledge comes from watching Bugs Bunny cartoons. That's oh, that was me. Good. That was yeah. me. All of those cartoons. I thought that music was made for the cartoon. 
Well, a lot of it was. But I mean, you're, you're talking about the opera they did. Or, or the, you know, the classical no, music. They, uh, no, they, uh, most of the music. Oh, da, well, da, I think da, a, da, a heck da, of a right lot of the, the Valkyries. Music, yeah, that's one Carson. show. <laughs> but a, a, a heck of a lot. Like they used, they, they used all kinds of stuff from the 19th century classical music for, yeah. Of of course, the uh, What's Opera Doc was, uh, was, was all Wagner, but. Uh, what's uh, Opera Doc? Oh, I've never but, seen that. Uh, they did one with, um, yeah. like there was a bullfight, and I think that was not yeah. Wagner. And, I think that was and, some bloody else. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Anyway, and, uh, and 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 of course the uh, rabbit of Seville used the uh, overture to the barber of Seville. Yeah. Um. Do does anybody I have, have a, a guess for nine? Um, no. Okay. Or 10. Okay. I so know 11. I know 11 because I've heard him tell this story. So have I. And I remember the more importantly, I remember the answer, yeah. which is something was remembered. It so was, 11, oh. in case you haven't heard him tell the story, is Queen Elizabeth II. Oh, I thought it was Meghan Markle. We, okay. Oh, really? I thought okay, that's what so, it was. Okay. So 11 is Betty Windsor. <laughs> that's good. I don't get it. Betty. Oh, Betty. When she Betty. had an old distant relative with the same name. I don't think Meghan Markle does. <laughs> okay, so QE. Oh. QE2. QE. Yeah. I forgot um, about her. Oh, poor lady. Yes. Well, I shouldn't say poor lady. She's she she had a good life. Yeah. So okay, maybe time. we can get 10. Great early mid-20th century musician with an affinity for animation. Do you know this one, Hamilton? So, okay, confused with Bugs Bunny. Bugs How, Bunny. In what way would he be confused with Bugs Bunny? Yeah, because he voiced Bugs Bunny. Or does he have the voice of Bugs Bunny? Like, he but I don't that... think that Mel Blanc was a great tw mid 20th century musician. Was he? Or could it be like Bugsy Siegel? Somebody who has a name like Bugs Bunny? An affinity oh, for gravity. Animation. What does that mean? Does that mean he's animated and he talks like this? It could be that, and it or it could mean he, he did an, I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm really trying to see. Uh, okay. How could that be? I just have to see. Uh, could it possibly be Vladimir Horowitz? Because um, I've heard that he like watched a lot of dumb cartoons and like had very um pedestrian taste in television <laughs> well there's one there's another musical episode with a piano concerto oh um oh rock uh, oh rachmanin oh oh did the rachmanin off is that what you were thinking i'm not sure i'm trying to i'm okay at, to at, at, at least he's at least he's a 20th century musician uh, I thought Rachmaninoff was late nineteenth century. Well, he lived well into the twenty. Well, but Hor what I mean is Horowitz. It could be Horowitz because he played the rock. He played a lot of Rachmaninoff. Yeah. The... I like Horowitz as a as a tentative uh, answer, at least if not permanent, because it's better than the zero we have. So we'll put Vlad the Impaler. For what? which one? Ten. Ten. Let me ask Mark. He's walking by. Vladimir Horovitz. There's one person. Oh. So the oh, question right. is great early mid 20th century musician with an affinity for animation and could have been confused with Bugs Bunny. He looked like Bugs Bunny? Or? I don't, I don't get that part. Does yeah, it look like Bugs could be confused? Yeah, that, that Bugs clue Bunny. is not yeah. helping. I don't know. Yeah. I Unless he has I, some I, kind I, of name like hair or. <sighs> Yeah. Okay, like uh, she, okay, he like, said, Carl Stalling. Yeah, I can I can easily see the other question we don't know. Is, the the name would lead you to believe that there is one person, but in fact, it's a quartet with singing and a fiddle. I could mean a lot of things. Okay, okay. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, yeah. I remember. I remember. Remember something about the word okay, that that uh, that that uh, that that. That somebody named Bugs drew the initial bunny. 
so he be, so, so, so so that so that that became known as Bugs Bunny. But but then the guy who drew, who, who was good at drawing cartoons wouldn't wouldn't necessarily wouldn't all that likely be somebody who's a great twentieth century musician. <laughs> Could be. I have no uh -huh. idea. Yeah. Okay. And nine. So the mid twentieth century was a while back. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, okay. In well, okay. Horowitz. Rack. Okay. Rachmaninoff was well in. Uh, oh. Should we just go with Celtic woman for nine? Because we have no can't think of anything else. Yeah. I've never even heard of them, so I'm no help. Really, you've never seen those ads? Oh my god! No, I don't oh, like they're ads. Oh, I don't have any ads anywhere. I hope he didn't have to play with them, but maybe he did. I'm not sure what. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Hey, gee, I remember seeing. They usually, well, that's an interesting thing because they carry their own band. I mean, the Celtic sure. Woman show has a lot more people than four singers. That's right. Okay, so I, 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 I do think I'm going to call their... everybody back now. Uh, oh, okay. so, yeah. yeah, go you for it. Leave it I mean, they travel with their own oh, group. Everybody. Don't have anybody. Come on back. Okay, so for. Um... So you know, can you do it, Alan? You know where okay. it is? There it is. You, you did it. good. Yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, so, so do we have something? Do we have a guess for ten? We have Vladimir Horowitz. So far. Horowitz. Okay. Till a better guess comes up, and we have a hundred seconds to come up with a better guess. Yeah. The name would okay. lead you to believe there is one person, yeah. but in mm -hmm. fact, it's a quartet with singing. And a fiddle. I mean, that does sound like Celtic woman because Celtic woman sounds like one person. But there's always Celtic. more than four, I think. Yeah. And they it's... travel with their own group. Yeah, but they would often use a big symphony like what Alan would be playing in. But would that mean? Okay. This is somebody he played with. Well, I'm not they... sure. Uh, yes. Well, okay. So he's in like the backing band when they come around to play in his symphony. Yeah, but I like I said, I think they bring their own back backup band. I mean, playing in the symphony. Sorry, do you guys do you guys have the timer count, counting down? Forty nine. Yeah, I don't see it here. Yeah, I don't. So it kind of hides behind six, things. Five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, it's just forty three seconds. Yeah, it's just forty three seconds. Thirty nine. But I mean, five. that's the only answer we have. So I guess I go with it. I yeah. guess. Yes. Yeah, let's see. There, yeah, there's this web comic I've been following, uh, uh, with a bunch of anthropomorphic furry animals, and there was an impala named Val Vlad. <laughs> yes. Does anybody know? Is there going to be a case tomorrow? Is it um, his uh, what's her name? Sydney Powell has pleaded out, so that leaves one guy left, right? And he hasn't. He's supposed to, the jury's supposed to start tomorrow, the jury selection. Nobody knows? Hey, does anybody know, yeah. now that Sydney Powell is gone, I mean, she's mm -hmm. she's pleaded, There, she was supposed to be on with one other guy, Cheese Bro or whatever, yeah. and jury selection bro. is supposed to start tomorrow. So yep. is, huh? is he pleaded out or is he? He hasn't, he hasn't pled out yet, no. So he's got time, a day or two. Or maybe... By the way, Susan's saying it correctly, it's pleaded. Yes. I did but, say it correctly. Yeah. You did. I, why, I wrote, why, why is that a? Why I wrote that, that in a Wikipedia article, and somebody changed it to no. It's pled. I go no. It's not pled. Put it back to pleaded. <laughs> pled is like bled. No, so he pleaded out, right? So no, he did. Well, he he's gonna, he he's hasn't. Have a trial. Has. He, has, he still has time because it's probably up until the trial, right? Yeah. No, he can. He can the, even into the trial. Yeah, he, he can, can plead into the trial. He yeah. you know may not get as good a deal, but right. The the worst it. His, case is going for him the, the worse the deal will be okay well that's supposed to start tomorrow i was just wondering because i could i can't keep track it's just too much now yeah, i actually listened to the half hour or so of sentencing it's 
it's free. It's a severe. You're pleading guilty. You're pleading guilty. Yes, you understand this. Yes. And the part where she said about the gun, she's not supposed to have. Hey, what? Janine, my Zoom is locked on mute and stop video. Oh. What the heck? Yeah. You know, Janine, restart. Go, go away. Come back. One of the chickens oh. cut the cable. The chickens. <laughs> oh, They're mounting a coup. Uh, I'm here. Uh, that's all chicken. My camera shit. mic cut that's off, right. and we'll not turn back. Oh, Jane, also. It's um, it's an Oregon problem. Yeah, it's oh, AI. AI, AI decided that back. they're. It's a chicken coup. Oh, the oh. Evil we'll AI. For a second, until Jane and and. Well, I think both of those people said something nasty about AI. So it's uh, getting AI's going. taking <laughs> over. No. The what chicken... AI's taking them over? The chickens pled the coop. Hey, wait for me. <laughs> And yeah, Alan, I, I did remember number 11. Right back. It, did, it did finally come back to me. Yeah, all right. The dictionary says you can use pleaded or pled. You can use either one. Well, yeah. Pleaded. Well, you can, but you'll be wrong in one case. <laughs> come here. Okay, really? I guess the dictionary's wrong. I'd much rather believe you guys. I learned so much from you guys. So you you, clutched, the, you clutched. What does the dictionary know? Yeah, oh, let's learn from my brother. I'm going to throw it away. Which, which yep. dictionary? Are you back? The lawyer's podcast that I listen to says okay. it's pleaded. I yeah. prefer the King James Dictionary. The lawyers. Uh, <laughs> oh, he used the to only be legitimate the, one, Kyle. He used to be the attorney for the Southern District of New York. So he's, you know. Whatever. Not, okay, Jane and Janine. He's not chopped liver. Don't say anything bad about AI because that's Look, what there's to. Kevin's dog. Yeah, look at the Oh, what a. Oh, my gosh. Isn't it Hello, fluffy? Puppy. What was your puppy's name? Fluffy? Pepper. 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 Hi, Pepper. We call her pepperoni because she's funny. Pepper, come on. Pepper. Pepper. Hey, look, Pepper. What a beautiful Pepper. puppy. Pepper. Pepper. She looks all like, is it bedtime? You want to go for a walk? Let's go for a walk. She just came in. <laughs> Would you like a treat? Would you like a treat? Let's Where's your ball? Walk. Where's your ball? Like a treat. Don't believe Where's it. She's a deep fake. Pepper, do you want a cookie? <laughs> Who's a good girl? Who's a good girl? She's, she is such a good girl. Oh, oh she's what a so beautiful sweet. Puppy. She is so, so an adult. Jane and I and her oh, master son John are going to see Penn and Teller yeah. Sunday night at Psycon. Oh, P and T. Nice. Oh, okay. do you remember my friend Joe who played trivia with us once? Yeah, Big this league. was his dog. Oh, yeah, oh, that's right. But oh. is she an adult? Yeah, she's four years old. Does he know you've got it? <laughs> yes, <laughs> I swear. Kyle, his should, dog is, Kyle is gonna do stand up. I swear he is. He should <laughs> totally should. It, he he just pulls it off without you know. You're not even thinking, and then all of a sudden he just got uh, it's funny. Anyway, that's right, too so, much talent for one person because he's really good at asking questions. Who? Kyle. Kyle. Oh my god! Yes. Oh my god! <laughs> Have you talked to Kyle? I've met him before. Have you? Yeah. yeah he's what's He's really good at asking questions. Well, oh, you're talking about his podcast. Yes, of course. Yeah, yeah. Professional. He's no, very professional. it's just in conversation. He comes across very professional. And he's good at sometimes pretending to be Carl. <laughs> and he <laughs> might be recording you for his podcast. I well, don't at know. Least, <laughs> at least. Well well tell oh, yeah. Give soon. us a profile, Kyle. Sure, sure, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think that what Janine was saying, though, a second ago is if anybody wants to join us, you should contact Janine for if you want to no. join us for pin. Oh, oh, you weren't don't saying contact that? me. I don't know how the hell to get tickets. <laughs> oh, no, but I was just saying that they could get tickets nearby where you know like near us and, and just go with would, you guys. Yeah. Well, if you want me to, I can put it up in the Psycon Facebook group. But just gotta send me something so I can put up and and yeah, then you should do that. Just, they contact you. What else is happening? Don't that contact night? me. Isn't this just, all stuff we do between rounds two and three? Oh, I know. What a pain in the yeah. Let's, let's we're just so excited to be going to yeah. Psychon. Yeah. Yeah. How about, about some you know? answers? It's yeah, a damn are, are, are we still, are we still on round one? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Your round. No. I was I was stalling until they got back. Okay, so round zero. Answers. Go ahead, Alan. You're in charge. Okay, so I think you guys all did pretty well as I as I kind of figured you would. Um, okay, number one is 
uh, there's a movie about him just came out and there was a controversy. It was a stupid one about <laughs> the, I forgot the actor's name. He was had to wear the, the pro prophylactic or whatever it is. Uh, uh, nose. Thank Anyways, you. it's, it's uh, uh, Leonard, Bernstein, uh, Leonard Bernstein. Leonard Bernstein. Okay. Why aren't you okay. showing all your pictures with this? The word hour? is probably because I couldn't figure out because I couldn't figure out how to do it. So I figured oh, now nah, you guys, I'll be wasting enough of your time. So um, okay, uh, number two. Hmm. Um, I wonder how he feels about being is, and I think you probably all got this one. The big one um, is not Leonard Bernstein. So hang on, I I wrote that wrong. Sorry, I didn't send it. So here we go. The next one is God, this, this, this is, okay, hang on, hang on, here we go. All right, is Luciano Pavarotti. Yeah, okay. All right. All right, so that's number two. Number three, I think a few of you guys got. It. I don't know if everybody got this one or not. Um, but um all right. Number three. Is Thirty Temple Black, Danny K. So, oh. and I, I, the reason I put in the reason I put in the jester is if you knew his movies. The uh, pellet with the poison is in the vessel with the pestle. The chalice from the palace is to prove that it's true. Nobody <laughs> knows those movies. No, nobody here. Carl has a has a hidden talent of no, memorizing. All right, so all right, so there we go. Um, Enter. Okay, coming and... to, to, to save time because we're so late, you can just read the answers and type them all in at the same oh, time. Oh, shit. No. <laughs> okay, hang on a second. No, I just keep forgetting to uh, to send these things. Danny K. Okay, hang on. So the next one is four. I'm um, literally saying just read four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then paste them in. <laughs> no. We can do this. I got to this very often. So you're gonna, we always do all that right. when we're giving answers. You don't have to do one at a time. And take I like yeah, it. I do. Okay, I think most of you guys got this one. If um, is James Earl Jones, right? All right, because I'm okay. I'm putting the questions, the answers, in the course. All right, and uh, uh, oh, God, this we thought we were trying to come up with somebody whose last name is Steiner. All right, yeah, yeah I, I heard that. I'm not sure how you came to that. Okay, well, you got your father. Uh, all right. Debbie Reynolds. Ah, right. Oh, good. Right. We have three. Uh, and I think I, I know at least a couple of you guys uh, got uh, got this one. Um, Number six is Andrea oh. Bocelli. Oh. Okay. I, I figured you guys watch PBS sometimes, so you know. Uh, okay. Um, I follow him on Facebook. So, mm. well, that why did he read your did he read your uh, your your te your 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 text? All right. Anyway, seven. And, uh, okay, and this one is. All right, I think most of you guys got this one. Dizzy Gillespie, oh, or maybe no. not. I guess Deborah's not having a good night because she's groaning more than she's <laughs> Yeah, I know, really. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, this is, uh, well, I was going to say that most of you got this one too, but maybe not, Deborah. Um, <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, were you on the team? Were you on the team by yourself or what? No. no. <laughs> okay. Don't She's worry. An abyss. Don't worry. Be happy. Look okay, at look Bobby. at Deborah's uh, back. Back. It's just black. It's just scary. Is there, are there lights? No, it's on? very complimentary. I think it looks nice. Bold and dramatic. Yeah. I'll show you what it looks like with the other way. Okay. Go ahead. Oh okay. yeah, that looks normal. But it looks wrong with the black background. I don't like it. Well, you don't have to have it. Don't do what I say. I just don't thought let you them slow you okay. down. Now, this, this one, it was interesting. I, I, I didn't hear anybody get it. I don't know if nobody got it, but okay. Why? Well, what did you say? Celtic woman. Hey, where? All right, cool. 
It is, in fact. I saw your, I also saw your picture with them, too. Oh, that's right, because I was a Celtic, no, I was a Celtic guy. All right. We guessed that, and it was right. All right. And is that Celine oh, Dion's job? I wouldn't have guessed it because I've never heard of it. I never heard of it either. <laughs> PBS, man, you learn a lot I've watching PBS. That's right. That's they right. Are, they are really TV. good, too. Um, okay. And they're also different every few years, too. Yeah. Um, okay. This is number 10. This one we were really confused on. I think we got this. Well, all right. So here you go. Now, before I put it up there, how many of you have seen Fantasia? Oh, yeah. All right. Animation. Animation. How many of you have ever seen Bugs Bunny at the at the Hollywood Bowl? Ah, that's right. That's where it was. Yeah. All right. So it is. Bugs Bunny. No, Leopold Stokowski. Stokowski. Oh, of course. He's the conductor in the oh. he's the conductor in the uh-huh. in the movie and yeah. that one where he comes in and he he dresses like Leopold Stokowski. Oh. And if you ever saw Leopold Stokowski conduct, it, it's uncanny. Bugs Bunny is exactly uh, the way he conducts. So I'm gonna go. look him up later. But and I saw your picture with him to too. Look up. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, oh, but and then the last one. So I guess if you if you need a bonus point, so you can have it if you got this one right. Now I'm guessing most of you got this, um, <laughs> or not. <laughs> Did anybody else get it? Well, I don't All know right. what it is yet. Yeah, I don't know. Queen Queen Elizabeth. Elizabeth. We put a we put a guess in. I'd say Queen, Queen, Queen Lizzie. Lizzie. Well, hang on, hang on. Patient, it takes me time. We've, we've heard Alan. I'm a one finger. Story. I'm a one finger typist. So you gotta you gotta. Um, or not um, copy paste. Yeah, I know, but it's three different things I got to do here. I'm, I'm. We got him to learn how to open up the rooms and close the rooms and move between the rooms. I think and, we're and doing control Z. Problem. All right, here I, you go. Control Z. I'm I'm in, I'm in, it's too much. Yay. Listening okay, to so Alan, got it right. Story pays off. Right. Yes. Yes. Yeah. What was number eight? Oh, Bobby McFerrin. Celtic woman. No, eight was. Bobby oh, eight was Bobby McFerrin. McFerrin. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. We had what four. I'm just impressed that Alan knows how to turn on the computer. <laughs> hey, come on! <laughs> Whoever turns it off, the kids come home, turn it on. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, Alan, I uh, never five. I mean, technically, wasn't Eddie Fisher also a singer? He wasn't the court jester, though. Was his daughter what? a princess? No, was, no, that's five. That, yeah, but that's... Eddie Fisher. Eddie Fisher was her dad. Yeah. Right. Oh, he's a singer. But, yeah, so yeah, so, so the behind the curtain, has, but the not behind the curtain. Alan met him. Uh, yeah, the, the behind, behind the curtain, curtain is the one. Yeah, that is that narrows it down. I, I okay. don't get the behind the curtain. We didn't get that one. Yeah, I didn't get, get behind the curtain. Singing in the rain. Yeah, watch singing in the rain. You'll see it. Oh, okay. Thank you. Oh, okay. okay. And yeah, the whole thing was he had to have met him. All right. Okay. So I, I mean, I put in. I tried to put in clues. It's it's like the with the the one with um, what's his name. Um, uh, Andrea Bocelli, I was just going to put, I, I added the Signore instead of what I was originally going to do is what I had there. And then at the end, I was just going to put in, it's not Ray and it's not uh, Stevie, just in case you wanted to think about Ray Charles or Stevie Wonder. Uh, both both of which came Signore, up in our course. The Signore would help you at least to know he was Italian. Yeah. Very good. So that was a good category. Yeah, I think like, when we get something fun. personal like that, it's fun to feel like we know each other better now because how many tens do you think people got alan now zero <laughs> there may have been i think there there could very well be a, a, a especially if you count the 11 and you put it in there but let me, there guess, let me ask you the other way what do you but think? i think the scores the scores still should be high what do you I think know. the lowest score is let me ask you that question <laughs> Rob, yeah, which team yeah, you Rob. on? Which you know, whatever Rob teams, whatever no, Rob. I was, I'm going to say a team with two people. The average is five. I, I, I don't know. know. I can't imagine that it, that, that team got lower than five. Yeah, I, gotten... I think the average is five. Okay, you know all right. So we made guesses. So it's but, not but I, I didn't God, think Alan. I didn't think these I, I didn't think these questions were. I I didn't want to make them too obscure, and I tried to make clues in there. Guess that what were, you, you know, failed. <laughs> let's wait. Let's just see here. I thought yeah, Louis Armstrong. The How the hell did you work with Louis Armstrong? Yeah, that's what we had. <laughs> I, I kept saying that he's not that old. I know. But I got it wrong. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. It's Four. not looking good. We held three votes, and we still haven't selected a new team name. Seven. 
Okay, that's above five. 16 or bust? Four. Well, that's below. We're sick of stupid Republican jokes, all 221 of them. Five. Okay. Give intern Josh the speak house, the house speakership. We had 10. We also well, had actually, we, had a, we, we actually had 11, but yeah, we, we'll take 10. We wow. had a leader on your team. Also and, your had a team brother. and your team, Ellen, let's see what you did to your team. Bed bug for speaker. 10. Yeah. Uh, no. You had an average of 7.2, so not bad. No, Lord. that was all right. That was all right. I, I, and I just, so I, so I don't think that they were too, too, too obscure. You Whoever guys were it was, it was going, saying, thought it was going to be bad. No, that was pretty good. Just, Wow, big difference of people who watch PBS and and from the people who don't. I think or, 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 lived with, or lived with the guy who came up with the clues. Yeah, you need to have that PBS. That's uh, not an advantage at all. That probably didn't. No. <laughs> all right, so we've got Gil up next, right? I'm ready. Okay. Okay, before you start, let me say good night and have fun at SciCon. Oh, oh bye, Brian. Watch for Take pictures, care, Brian. Brian. Thanks. Have a good time, Bye. Leonard. Yeah. Bye, Brian. Okay. Bye. Bye. Okay, Bye. The, the, Bye. the second category tonight will be the second time I've done this category, but it's new questions. Food history, part two. Okay. Yes, sweetie. Lots of multiple choice. Okay. How many tens are you expecting? <laughs> <laughs> I'm expecting pretty high scores, but maybe not ten. <laughs> I don't expect any zeros. Okay, question one. Okay, muting. I can find it there. Mute all. Okay, um, unmute, Gail. Which of the following is true about Johnny Appleseed? A, John Chapman was called Johnny Appleseed because he traveled the West giving away saplings to encourage more eating of this fruit. B, the law offered a lucrative deal to new settlers in the West. They would be given 100 acres as long as they developed the land. This included 50 apple trees in the first three years they lived on the land. C, the apple that he planted, the planted were used to make cider, so the descendants of the trees did not survive prohibition. Or D, he was a member of the Swedenborgen Church, which meant he believed that all his trees had to be planted from cuttings. This tradition continues today, or E, these are all historically correct. Okay. Question two. True or false? Corned beef and cabbage is the national dish of Ireland since it's traditionally in honor of St. Patrick, the patron saint of Ireland. Question three. Another multiple choice. Which of the following Chinese foods is actually Chinese and not created in America? A, fortune cookies. B, crab rangoon. C, kung pao chicken or D, chow mein. Question four. There are two different versions of the invention of the buffalo wing, but there was agreement about where they were invented in 1964 by Teresa Bellissimo at the Anchor Bar. Why were they given this name, buffalo wings, since buffalo don't fly or have wings? This is another long one. Number five, which of the following international food origins is true. A, spaghetti and meatballs were invented in Italy because meat was expensive and there was a way to stretch it further and use leftover ground meat. B, 
Sushi rolls are a common historical, historically Japanese food that has been an important part of the culture for centuries. We have invented new versions of the dish like California rolls, but traditional rolls of raw fish, seaweed, and paper and rice are part of much most Japanese bento boxes. C, nachos were invented in Mexico to satisfy American tourists. Frank Liberto, nicknamed Ignacio, invented the cheese sauce that made them a popular stadium food. Or D, egg rolls that are deep fried are traditionally a Chinese winter treat. During the rest of the year, the lighter spring rolls are more common. Question five, question six, more multiple choice. We all know that the great Irish potato famine was caused by a blight which destroyed the potato crop starting in 1845. Which of the following is not true about this tragic event? Okay, quick. Choice A, because, B, okay, because the Irish are so fond of potatoes, they didn't have alternate food when the crop failed. Um, while blight affected all of Europe, the other countries had planted in such a pattern that diversified their farming. B, most of the deaths were not from starvation, but diseases caused by malnutrition, which in caused the population to become vulnerable to serious infections like smallpox, diarrhea, and infectious diseases like typhoid. Or C, at the start of the famine, the population was roughly 8.5 million, but by its end in 1949, half of them had died or left for the USA or other countries. Okay. Question seven. German chocolate cake was invented in Dallas, Texas in 1957. So why do we call it German chocolate cake? And I've included a hint. And it's made with Baker's chocolate, named for similar reasons. Which of the following is true about kosher and halal dietary rules? That is Jewish and Muslim, right? A, they are so similar that religious Jews can eat halal and religious Muslims can eat kosher. B, while they do overlap, there are some differences. For example, Muslims are not permitted alcohol, but can eat shellfish, while Jews cannot eat shellfish, but can drink alcohol. C, while both are not permitted to eat pork, the other rules are all different. Number nine is another multiple choice. Which of the following is not correct? Pez candies were originally invented as an anti-smoking mint. B, popsicles were invented by an 11-year-old boy who one winter accidentally left a cup of soda outside overnight with a stick in it. C, the first meal eaten on the moon by Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin was bacon squares, peaches, sugar cookie cubes, pineapple grapefruit drink, and coffee. Or D, before there were McDonald's chicken McNuggets, there were onion nuggets. Or finally, E, graham crackers were invented to stimulate sexual urges and therefore cure male impotence. One of them is not true. And finally, 10 is another true and false. True or false? The use of the fork for eating at the table was once considered an affront to God. In the UK, as late as the 17th century, using them was ridiculed. 
Any questions? Oh, wow. Okay. This is going to be hard. These are some good questions. I have oh, here comes Lee. Huh? Here comes Lee. I'll put, I'll give him the questions. Okay. Righty. Oh, I've got, a, I've got some people to put in rooms. Oh, yeah. Jane. Jane, 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 Jane. Oh, so I'm looking at the wrong screen. Okay. Jane, 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 Jane. Jane, Jane. where did you go that you got kicked out of your She got room? the same thing happened to her as it happened to you. You guys had the exact Where same the, thing. The picture and the sound. Yep, exactly. So it was um something to do with something Oregon. Something in Oregon, huh? Yeah. Lee, well, let me give you the weird. questions before I let you go to your room. Hold on a second. Where is the chat? This is this is Gail's category, and the questions are food history trivia part two. Here's let me send this just to you. Oh, okay. There's that one, and these are kind of long. Oops. It's one, two. Three. They're just now going to the rooms. Four. Five. Six. Let's see if I can do these other ones together. Oops. I wouldn't go all of them. Which ones to take? Six. When let me paste it. It was too long. Seven. Eight. Nine is long. These are good. I don't know. These are going to be really hard. And here's ten. All right. Very good. And you are going to be in room four. They're waiting for you. Okay. Um, they have the lowest score at the moment. They have a four. <laughs> so good luck. <laughs> Thank you. Got nowhere to go but up. Yeah. You can't go lower than four. Hey, Sydney. Hey. You got your thing? You ready to go? Yep. Okay. I'm going to my room since you've got your thing. Got your thing. Now. Hello, team. Sorry. I had to give Lee his um questions. Okay. Um, we're going to go with A then? Which one are we missing? What, what? do you mean we're missing? Where you start? What What have you gotten already? Uh, we, we're still on number one. Oh, the answer we're is that I started. Yeah. So we're going to go with A? I, I like A. Okay. It's e. Okay. So, no, what do you say, Susan? It's E. E? They're all they're all accurate. They're all true. Yeah, he was a member of a church. Um, I think he was a minister. Yeah, and he had he was spreading the word of God, and that I don't know about C, but A is right. I do know that they apples were B primarily right. used for cider until you know. Mm -hmm. uh, and I assume D. I don't know what the name of the church was, but that sounds right. Uh, the Swedenborgian that that is, uh, that was a missionary church at the time. So uh, he was a missionary. Are we switching to E now? I guess I'll go with E. Okay, I'm good with E. I'm good All with right. E. E is and corned beef and habit cabbage. I don't know if that's traditionally eaten. It is. It is traditionally Irish. Irish. I mean, outside of Ireland, it's served on St. Patrick's Day. So, yeah, I have an Irish friend, and he always invites us over for corned beef and cabbage every St. Patrick's Day. Let's go with true. I'll go with true on that. that sounds disgusting. Sorry. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I like I like corned oh, yeah. beef, and I like I don't like cabbage that much, but the combo combination is okay. Yeah. Um. Three. Three. I think chow mein is Chinese. I think so too. It's either C or D. Yeah, it's I'd not go. it's not fortune cookies. Yeah, we've we've had that 
a couple of times, I think, in this. Yeah, I don't know. I, Probably I would, D. I would go with D. Okay. Uh, D. Oh, it's four is because they're from Buffalo. They're from uh, Buffalo. Yeah, yeah. They're from Buffalo, New York. Yeah, the, the anchor mm -hmm. bar is in Buffalo. Yeah. Okay, five. Uh, this was... I thought this was A, but... Uh, sushi rolls... Uh, tekamaki is, is traditional Chinese, uh, Japanese uh, from way back. Sushi actually means finger food. And so uh, it was served as nigiri or as uh, to, uh, as a maki or roll. So is that true? So I think I think B is true. Do you think That's it's B? what I thought. A sounds like okay. it's true. I mean, that makes sense. Nachos were not invented in Mexico. No, no, that's no. true. That's definitely not true. This one here and, and is... egg, egg rolls, uh, that looks true to me, too. I've, I just read something about egg rolls. But I assume we only get one. Yeah. Um, so which is the most true? Okay, are we talking about six or are we talking about five? Five. Five. I like B. And the article I just read about uh, also mentioned that spring rolls were called that because they were uh, served in spring and the other egg rolls uh, were served uh, the rest of the year. So, so I, uh, D, D sounds more true to me based on that one article I read. Well, I haven't read any recent articles, so we probably should go with the person who recently read an article. I don't have a clue. Uh, yeah, I would, I would agree. <clears throat> so, six, six, you know what's funny about um, which is about this is not true. I think A is true that they didn't have other foods, but the reason they planted potatoes was because of environmental conditions potatoes would produce. You know, it well, wasn't necessarily because they love food, but I think B is wrong. I think A is wrong because it wasn't that they were fond of them and that's not the problem the problem was that the potatoes were diversified themselves they were all the same variety and they got some sort of infection yeah. and it and it you know they they if they had different kinds of potatoes it would have been better but they all had the same variety of potatoes uh, that's more corn than than potato i mean potatoes i think were potatoes back then um so but it it's not that, because not true. it wasn't be it wasn't because they liked the potatoes so much that they didn't plant anything else the the conditions soil conditions and stuff potatoes were what grew yeah, they grew well there yeah okay. so a is probably the wrong one because i'm pretty sure uh, uh, b and c are right no, C is wrong because only a third of the population went would uh disappeared. Oh, and it was heard. about and it was uh, about 50-50 died and left. Well, th now that's that's something I'm not going to argue with. I know it was a lot of people, so if it's a half or a third, I wouldn't know. It was a hell of a lot. It was a lot. So C mm -hmm. C I think Maybe she's is... just worded weird because she makes it sound like they were fond of it. And that's the reason why they grew it. And that's wrong. I, I disagree with fond. that. I think it was for agronomic reasons that they grew it, but, but they the were fond is, of potatoes, but that's. But the thing is, potatoes is what they had. They, uh, and 
when potatoes were in, introduced from America, the Irish landowners uh, planted them instead of the uh, wheat and barley that they that had been a primary uh, source up to that point. They should have been able to grow barley. I would think. Uh, well, that. Uh, Ireland was very much a, a wheat and barley uh, agriculture until the pa potatoes were introduced. So it wasn't that they couldn't grow the barley, it's that they didn't because the landowners made more money out of potatoes. So okay, so consensus? what are we going to decide? I, 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 I think uh, C, with C. Yeah, C okay, is least C. correct. All right, okay. C. I don't know about German chocolate cake. Does anybody else know? That? I remember something about this. I think I would know if I heard it. That or Dallas had a large German contingent of settlers. We're on yeah. seven, Gail. But why is she says, and it is made with baker's chocolate named for a similar reason. So that are you saying that it's a named German chocolate because there's a lot of Germans in Dallas and that there was a lot of bakers in Dallas? Well, it's no baker's chocolate is used all over the place and it's called no, that said, because it's, it's used by bakers. There, you know. And well, you're, well, the point is, is that Baker's chocolate is named for the similar reason. So why is Baker's chocolate named? Is is it because there's a lot of people in Dallas named Baker? It has nothing. The Baker's chocolate has nothing to do with Dallas, as far as I'm sure. Uh, well, she's worried it, so it it's the same reason for the other one. It's because there are a lot of Germans involved and there are a lot of Bakers involved. Two separate things, but the same reason. Or unless the last name Baker is a German last name. No, I don't. I, I don't understand why the second part's there. It's a red herring. Yeah, <laughs> I think it's a red herring. Ron, you got something? No, I mean she did say that 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 parent parenthetical piece is a hint. Which... Okay, so Baker's chocolate could be named Baker's chocolate. Because somebody named Baker invented it. You're going to be closing his room soon because you're the only team that's in it. Oh, you really? guys. Well, we just talk them over. We're, we're on seven. Which of the following is true? But do you guys know eight, nine, or ten? Well, eight, um, I'm pretty sure, is B because they're not they're similar but not the same. But okay, nine? Muslims cannot do alcohol and, and Jews can't eat selfish. But the thing is not uh, kosher unless it's supervised by a uh, by a priest. By by a rabbi. Right. So but Jews can eat halal food, most halal food, not all. And but it's also, not yeah, but it's not kosher unless it's actually produced in under the supervision of a rabbi. Right. We're overthinking these. We gotta move through these, you guys. Everybody's already done. Nine. Does anybody well, have a strong choice on that one? Well, do we do we decide on eight? I was voting on B, but that's B's just fine with me. B yeah. worse for me. Okay. okay, so nine. I think it's probably be because that's silly i've uh, heard the story before i don't like c okay well we have to get it something quickly so okay should we move on to 10 i think i uh, okay d is not correct mcdonald's did not have onion nuggets okay d that's fine okay 10 that's false. Uh, 
Okay, seven. Thomas, Thomas Beckett introduced the fork in the uh, 12th century. <laughs> okay, go back to seven. German chocolate cake was invented in Dallas, Texas. Okay. I, I, so why do we call bake, it German okay, chocolate cake? Baker's, Baker's chocolate is named for the company that makes it. So German chocolate cake was invented by a guy named German. That That's what I was thinking. Okay, that's a good answer. Any, okay, anything you want to change? See, when you get pushed to shove, man, we can move right through these. Yeah, yeah. but... <laughs> okay, the question no is, do we have more right answers when we went slowly or more right answers when we speed Well, if we up almost ran out of time, matter. we would have no answer so, to ones. So uh, it would have, we sped up at six? Yeah. So before or after six? Well, we did take a, take some time on six, so. Okay, just... so we'll see how we did before and after we speed it up. And if we do pretty good speeding up, we should just go through and guess next time. Well, we you go through and scale, get of you... course, scale will be back here and it will all get. It'll be smooth running. Unbalanced. If you, if, you go, if, you, if you're starting to overthink one, but you've got like four more underneath that haven't been even touched. Go through them quick. And we then need come back to, to. We them. need to rethink that. We need to overthink them too. Can we that use the, bo the bonus time. that we got in the first round? Nope. Yeah. Oh, we, we may need that. Actually, point. we should should. Hello, everybody. Okay. Oh, Gail, I'm hungry. <laughs> what do you got for us? Definitely the proper response. Are you ready for the answers? Yes, I think most yeah. of you did very well. From Johnny I Appleseed was a when I was in um, our elementary school had one of those big reel to reel, um, you know, those giant machines that you put the tape on and it was reeled on it. And every time they had a PTA meeting or anything like that, we always showed this cartoon, always. And I started getting to a point where I was the one who, like, helped babysit the younger kids and stuff. And we always watched this damn thing. Well, I hope you got the answer right then, because I don't remember what that, that was my team. I don't know. Question one, the answer was C. C? The apple oh, was no. cider, and the descendants did not survive prohibition. They destroyed all the apple trees because they were strictly cider apples. They were not eating apples. They were, really? And the problem with A, which I was intentional, but if you notice, it also, that same problem also applied to D, is that that church she belonged to insisted that it be done with seeds. And apples are not usually grown from seeds. They're usually grown from cuttings. Mm -hmm. But in order to grow them from seeds, he had to do these very bitter oh, apples. Oh, darn it. I knew he was in a church. And I just, oh, I pity. Yeah. Sorry, team. I'd, I, yeah, I'd heard something about this Swedenborgian church and him being connected with it. So that mm. me. That was just sneaky enough to make us think that well, we his name is Johnny like Apple Seed, not Johnny Apple Sapling. <laughs> <laughs> why didn't I think of that? Or, yeah. or, or, and that's or, or, or why, apple and the other thing to remember is we think of it as just good eating apples, and they were not edible apples. They were strictly cider apples, which is why they destroyed them. Oh, hmm. interesting. Okay, question two is fall. Beef was oh. not a common food in Ireland and still is not. They came, the, the immigrants came to the United States and couldn't get anything to eat that they were accustomed to, which is mostly pork, but they were in the Lower East Side of New York City where the Jews who didn't eat pork were eating corned mm. beef. So Americans yeah. think corned beef and cabbage is the, it's the Irish thing, and in Ireland, nobody even knows about it. The Boston thing, too, though. Okay. Yeah, but that's so not how it got. That's not how it got. Right. It got to be in Ireland. Okay. So what? So what is false? It is false. false. It is not the national dish of Ireland. Cow chicken. Okay, these are the are some actual Sichuan dishes from China: chow mein, fortune cookies, and uh, and crab rangoon were all invented in the United States. Okay. Chow mein was. I thought it. <laughs> Absolutely invented here. Chinese, so C the is first correct. Chinese workers got together and they just stuck stuff together. In fact, the name even means something like mixed up stuff with noodles. Chow mein? Chow mein. I thought, I, I thought that was chop suey, but... Uh... Both of them. 
Chop, it's yeah, whether it has too. noodles or rice. Chop suey is done with rice, chow mein with noodles, but they're both so, totally American. So Kung Pao chicken is the one that was actually is in not, real time. Kung Pao chicken is actually, it's not the same as American Kung Pao chicken. Ours is not as spicy um, mm. as the Szechuan version, but it, it is based on the same dish. I'm really freaking hungry good. now. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And okay. then Sass too in Szechuan, Canadian. <laughs> Ready for question four? Because the bar was in Buffalo, New York. It's called Buffalo. Yes. We finally got one right. Yay! Yep. One we in all a row. Agreed on that one. <laughs> okay, question five. Nachos were invented in Mexico for the tourists. Liberto was named Ignacio, which is where we get the nachos from. Uh, oh, no. See? Nobody in Italy has ever heard of putting meatballs with spaghetti. That's totally an Americanism. They eat meatballs, they eat spaghetti, but never together. Mm. Um, egg rolls are an American creation. Spring rolls are not, but they don't eat that kind of egg roll in China. And Egg, egg, I, I gave you a picture of what is more likely to be an actual sushi roll. They're actually a relatively new invention in, in Italy within the last hundred years, but they never eat rolls. You will never go in a Japanese place and see rolls. You'll see sushi so the rolls. answer. So the answer is C? The answer is C. Well, we for the sure one that was correct was, correct. was Mex Mexico. Well, oh, that makes sense. Ignacio. The nacho. Huh? Ignacio, yeah. And you mm. mentioned the cheese sauce, and that's Nacho. why it's called nachos from Ignacio. God, mm. I think I made a billion dollars in yeah. an island somewhere. Oh. Okay, you ready? Oh, you mean, you, you, you mean it's not because this cheese was stolen, so it's nacho cheese? No. Oh, <laughs> Vincent is here. <laughs> oh. Okay. Question six. The AI will be so relieved. <laughs> Question six, the, an the answer is A. It's not the yeah. Irish were fond of potatoes and didn't have alternate food. No, it was all the British. They grew all kinds of other crops. In fact, there was enough food to feed them all, but they were all tenant farmers and all their food was shipped to England. Right. Yeah. The only thing they were allowed to keep was the potatoes, which is why when they, and that's a picture of potato blight. Um, I love this quote, so I put it in. This is an Irish historian. The Almighty may have sent the potato blight, but the English caused the salmon. Mm -hmm. Ooh. They had to grow what they were ordered to, and that's why they that's why they starved. Only mm -hmm. they didn't completely solve because they died from other diseases, as the other questions say. And I gave you a hint with that Baker's chocolate. Baker's chocolate was named for James Baker, and Samuel German is the name for German German chocolate cake. It yeah. had nothing to do yeah. with the country. <laughs> it was just his name happened to be German. And All right, Ron, we did it right. Yeah. Gail, on question yeah. six, then you're saying that half of the population died. Half of the left. population, yeah. Wow. Uh, uh, half the died population or left. was gone. Gone died or, or left. Died or left. Yeah. I knew that it was a big amount. I didn't know how many. Uh, Four million I, people. Wow. I thought it was. Yeah, I thought it was only a third, but I, oh. something I read one where the population. <laughs> Diminished 29 by, by something percent. In fact, they said that it, it took till fairly recently for the population to regrow to its pre famine level. Mm. Yeah, well, they, uh, yeah, they went for later marriage uh, after the famine. So they, so their birth rate just uh, wasn't as high as before. Mm. Mm. But Baker's chocolate is named for James Baker and German, and German chocolate yep. cake. So neither is the German to do with the country. Hmm. Number eight. And the chocolate isn't named for the country of Baker. No, it's named for the man who invented it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. While they do overlap, there are some differences. Do Muslims can eat a hey. But they can't yep. eat shellfish and Jews can't eat shellfish. Can you take a whole? And I was listening. These folks were all hmm. overthinking this. Because it's absolutely true what you were saying that, you know, Jews can't eat halal because it all has to be done exactly by the rules and blessed by a rabbi. And and Muslims, Muslims 
will not do do Jewish do kosher because there is places where the rules are different. So only B said that. Question nine. Graham crackers were invented to stimulate sexual organs? <laughs> no, as most of you, I think, no. knew, it was the opposite. They thought the fellow who invented it thought it would prevent sexual urges. Remember, this is 19th century, right? He mm. thought that they would, it would be good for eating graham crackers would somehow calm your sexual no. desires. Yeah, because people the never in the 21st century true. would make mistakes about things like and that. And Rob, I certainly <laughs> would not have said that that was part of the meal. That was the whole meal at the end. Mm -hmm. You're right. You said I wouldn't do it. No, I wouldn't do that. No, that does sound like something they would have eaten. It should oh, have had nachos. There were onion, onion, onion nuggets were great. Were before chicken, um, um, chicken nuggets. Oh, I like your, I like your screenshot, uh, Kevin. Word of the day: nacho. Nacho next president. Nacho <laughs> next president. Yeah. <laughs> And the, the kid invent, who invented the popsicle did, in fact, do that. Oh. And he he finally patented it when he was an adult. But he, he did it. Everybody thought it was a great idea. Oh, my goodness. Okay. And number 10 is true. Oh, my gosh. Please oh, okay. the, the, the God in his wisdom has provided man with natural fork his fingers in 1004. I heard somebody say that, that, that they were allowed in, in England. Yes, but they, people made fun of them. As late as 1608, there were people making fun of people who used a fork. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I thought, uh, I just didn't think the affront to God thing was real. And, 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 and I thought it, uh, and, 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 I, and I thought the making fun sort of ended a bit sooner. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that, so, that's a quote from the Venetian uh, so, wedding. Where, where, does the spoon, where, fork was, where does a spoon fit in there? <laughs> was spoon okay? How would you eat soup? soup? How about the spork? I mean, you you could cup your hand and drink soup, so I don't get the difference. Well, you, you drink soup out, out of the bowl. They saw a difference, apparently. By the way, I didn't make this a question, but I considered it. You notice the knife that's there? It has a rounded tip. Rounded, Nate, we still do this. If you have a table knife, it has a rounded tip as opposed to the pointed tip that you'll see in most cooking knives, right? And that was because you brought the steak knife, the, the, cook, the eating knife to your table, right? You ate with it at the table and that you can't stab somebody with a rounded tip. Yes, you can. Well, <laughs> you know, oh, Star Trek. It's actually worse. It'd be a lot harder. If you're strong enough to puncture the skin. Yeah, it's actually worse. All right. Or depending guys. where you're going to stab, I'm sure the, the eyeball will not be any obstruction to a All right, let's do scores. Let's break out and test. Good job, Gail. <laughs> as usual, as per usual. Oh, I got a screen share because we can't have Susan not do something exactly the same each time. All right, here's where we're stand. 10, 10, 5, 4, 7. So let's start out with 16 or bust. I gave you Lee, so hopefully your scores went up. Well, we really wanted a 10, so we put six on this round so we could add up to 10. All right. <laughs> Pop that count. <laughs> We're sick of stupid Republican jokes, all 221 of them. Seven. There you go. Respectable. It's not looking good. We held three votes, and we still haven't selected a new team name. We were Seven. consistent. Seven. Seven. All right. So let's go up here. Give in turn, Josh. The House Speakership. Gail did it to her team. Three. Oh, we were not <laughs> consistent. <laughs> ben we ben for speaker. With that, seven. Seven. Hmm. 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 All right. So before we take, uh, let's take our photo real quick. Let's take our photo. And then nobody leave. I love seeing you guys all scurry. Um, we have to sing happy birthday to Bill, don't we? Uh, yeah, we will. Right after we're done here. Okay, everybody I'm ready? Sorry, Bill. Birthday time out. Can I get my birthday uh, song this week since nobody will be here next week for it? Sure, we Aww. can do that. Okay, okay. <laughs> let's do a picture. Everybody smile. One, two, three. I've learned how to make it so that I can delay this if I want, but I haven't. Okay, so Bill and Ron are the birthdays, right? Wow. Just those two? 
They're both here to listen. We all have a birthday. Yeah, I know, but 2023 today is October 19th. Okay, I just saved it. All right, in any tune you want, at any rate you want. <laughs> any <laughs> words you want. Ron are like, all right, here we go. Ready? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday, 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 happy I want to have a birthday every week just so I can have that. <laughs> no, I don't want to have a birthday. I want you guys to keep having birthdays once a week. Somebody's got to have a birthday. All right. So five minutes, you guys. Come back okay. for a break. Good night. Good night. See you next week. Thanks for staying. Faith, for are you guys coming to Psycon this year? Goodbye. We are not, unfortunately. Aww. We have a roof that needs to be replaced. So that's where oh. our money is going. That happens. <laughs> <laughs> We're also leaving early, so have a good day. Yeah. We'll see you. Oh, bye, bye, guys. Happy bye. triathlon. We'll send you pictures of us having fun. Okay, thank you. Hey, that's very thoughtful. <laughs> I I thought so. <laughs> bye bye. I will share uh, the trivia bit that was shared within our little Go to the Sphere Thursday night group, and that is how much you guys could just shout it out. How much does it cost? For the power bill for that thing every month. For what? What thing? For the sphere in Las Vegas. Have oh. is anyone not familiar with what the sphere is? Uh, it's a, uh, how about forty five thousand? That's a little high. <laughs> <laughs> that's a little low. <laughs> per month, you say? Per month, how much does it cost to light that thing? A lot. <laughs> I I think it was something like four hundred and sixty-four thousand. Oh my god! That was a month, higher so than I was like gonna guess. Almost a half a million dollars a month. <clears throat> but everyone, make sure your tires are fully inflated in your car, so we <laughs> yeah. don't waste energy. <laughs> um, future archaeologists are going to look at that and say. What? They had global warming. They were about to lose all the snow in the Colorado River. What the fuck were they thinking? I'm, I'm like <laughs> picturing it they falling off and rolling away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I still want to go there. Well, remember, uh, Las Vegas is a city of decadence. Yeah. It's, yeah. So Las Vegas is right fun. in. They do have hydropower there. Not much, not anymore. Not as much, yeah, it's true, huh? Yeah, but they have the sun; they could do solar power. They have a lot of sun. Exactly. Yeah. They they it's should be probably solar. doing a lot more solar. And they, and they power have they a certain amount of wind there as well. So we also, we also recycle a hundred percent of our water. Yeah, right. I, I visited that one of those places in there recycle how how you uh um, every, every bit of water that goes down the drain the only water that doesn't get recycled is water that goes into the ground so there are very strict rules you can't water more than for five minutes okay because so when you come here you can the drink goes into the water recycling and gets recycled so everything at the sewage treatment plant comes back to drinking water everything tertiary treated cheers <laughs> you want ice Holy. with that, Robin? No, no. Oh, yeah. it's it's not ice. Ice. I can promise you all that I have solar panels, and so do most new, all the new buildings being built here now. Yeah. Right. I was speaking of water. After you get my water. Yeah, I'm not sure that water recycling is going to do much for uh, uh, offsetting the incredible waste of power. That the sphere is. Yeah. So, you know, it's a question of what, what you consider to be a waste. If you're a tourist town, you count on things like that for your income, right? This used to be uh -huh. a gambling town. And right now, it turns out that gambling is not the major moneymaker in Las Vegas anymore. Too many no. other places are doing it, and too many other places have made it legal. But tourists is still, is still it. 
is still the big money maker. And tourists come here not for Sin City as much anymore, but for the entertainment. Yeah. And if you're coming here and you don't leave the strip, you're making a mistake. Because there are, if you can stay long enough, you can arrange to stay long enough. There's a lot of great stuff here, that um, nature stuff here. We have uh, the Red Rock Canyons that are just as spectacular and uh, all kinds of museums. There's all kinds of really cool things, including the Smith Center, which has all kinds of performances. I don't know what's going on that particular weekend, but I just saw a Broadway show there last week. What show did you see, Gail? Um, uh, last week we we saw the um, what is the title of it? The one about the um, the Motown, um, the Temptation. I think it's called the Temptation or okay. the Temptation. Was it yeah, good? Very good. Very good. Yeah, they have a Ooh. they have a traveling Broadway series that's here every year. We also have a local Philharmonic that has a this seasons and if you like jazz there is and jazz is much more much more often there and for those of you who are in engineering uh, thoughts uh, this was the place where they did a lot of the uh, testing nuclear testing and there is a nuclear museum here that is the one of only two muse Smithsonian museums outside of Washington DC is here in Las Vegas and if you want a museum experience that is totally unique, because it can't be anywhere else, is they were preserving the neon signs that were used when they were taking down, because these buildings go down very quickly on the strip, and they were preserving them in the neon graveyard. And they ended up building a neon museum based on that, and they're restoring the sign. Mm. In fact, one of the most fascinating conversations I've ever had was, a sister who is uh, an Egyptologist in New York City. And she had a conversation with the Neon Museum, other person who did her job, only not just her job, because the Neon Museum has one person who does all of the job, but they specialize in, in the Mu Museum of Art in New York. Well, uh, they had the most amazing conversation. I just sat back and watched because the Neon Museum is preserving things and re and recreating things that are 20 years old. And she's doing the same thing with things that are 5,000 years old. Yet the problems are exactly the same. You know, do you, do you use the modern kind of light because they're more fuel efficient? This, this is true of it? all museums. Probably, yeah. But it was, these were, they could not have been more different. And to listen to their conversation about how you make these decisions. Do you repaint that 5,000-year-old thing to make it look like it looked then? Or do you keep it in as an, in an authentic way as it is, even though it's not how it looked then, right? Uh, Greek and Roman marble statues were all painted. Yeah. <laughs> Seen a lot of that lately. Um, the all right, so we're back. I gave you a little longer than five minutes because I had to feed the cats. All right. So Mom. where are we at? I'm sure we've got some announcements out here. Before I start in the announcements, what I want to hit first, the important part is, do we have two more people who could do rounds next week? And cats on our way over here. So that's perfect. So I need two more people to pony up. I got Romero, Peggy, Jamie's doing bonus. Kevin's got his hand up. <laughs> I can see Kevin. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, that's not his hand. <laughs> I, I, I know that. How can you see that hand? It's so tiny. <laughs> I, 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 I did know that that wasn't Kevin's hand. All right. So I need two more people before we get off this thing. Don't make me assign it to you. So here we go. Let's, uh, let's do some more. I think we have nothing going on except maybe Kyle has something. Kyle, have you got anything? I do. I got a new episode of Data Skeptic out, which explores the question, do these large language models behave ethically? Or they don't really behave in any way, but when you ask them what they would do, do they do ethical things in comparison to what humans would pick? 
And as it turns out, they actually score as more ethical than humans, probably mm. because they were designed that way during this reinforcement learning step. So that's this week on Data Skeptic. You're not using Trump as a standard of ethics to compare against, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, it was a random sample of uh, the local population that was used. And this was a language model based on written language. So there would be no Trump material to feed it. No, good point. <laughs> <laughs> Very true. As, oh, long, I mean, as long as it ignored everything in all caps. Welcome, welcome, Kat. She hasn't quite gotten used to the idea that Thursdays are reserved for trivia. Either that or she's forgetting what day of the week it is. <laughs> I've done that more than once. <laughs> Cat, you got an excuse? She just hasn't got used to it yet. <clears throat> she's still okay. muted, so. Well, she could probably still hear us. But so she's, she's on the she's skeptic. She's coming zone. up with an excuse right now as she's getting herself over here. Um, there she is. She's you got a good excuse why you're forgetting that Thursdays are for trivia? T I forgot T it was Thursday. Thursday trivia. Yeah, you forgot it was Thursday. Okay, fine. I got it. I've done that too. <laughs> I don't know what day of the week it is. I just had an Amber alert go off. This woman was abducted like a few blocks from my house. Oh. Like my brain's been all over the place. Yeah, 40 year old woman, she's blind and nonverbal. Oh, God. Was thrown into a, a stolen van. What? And I'm like, oh my goodness. And I'm like, okay, I got to go on Facebook and just like get all the ick out of my brain. And then. I see, oh my gosh, I'm missing trivia. <laughs> I put up the picture and she's, she's the first one that liked it. And I said, why aren't you here? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awful. If you find a link, cat, put it uh, so that I can look vicariously about how awful it is. You know, I don't know what it is about this group, but for some reason we keep having these things happen to each of us in their homes as they're playing trivia, like Gail yeah. had that awful yeah. murder uh, across the street from her while she's playing trivia. She says, it's so loud outside with all the police and everything. I can't hear enough to play trivia. The longest alibi ever. Episode. Because this is trivia, I'm going to Kyle? She had the best alibi ever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, she was in yeah, trivia. Columbo, Columbo could still get her. Yeah. Oh, Columbo. He would say, were those questions really asked in advance? Or were they, uh, you know, were did she talk to somebody and she just had an AI just here pretending to answer the question? Oh, did you hear about that guy who did murder his girlfriend? He did that. Oh my gosh, he used um one of those live feeds where they're playing video games, and so he had recorded a long, like five hour video game of him playing the video game, and he played it wow. while they went and murdered his girlfriend and came back. And they and they uncovered it just accidentally. It's really interesting. Alberta Amber Alert. So that's the one, huh? Cindy Ten has been located. Is that her? Oh, have they updated it? So, so, so this is what I wanted to ask. I, I associate Amber Alert with children, and you said a 40-year-old woman, and that doesn't say Amber anywhere in it. So did you misspeak or am I wrong about that? Alberta emergency alert. It what it did come across um all media as a an Amber Alert, which normally it is for children. I think because she is blind and nonverbal, they didn't use the typical alert status. They used Amber Alert because they can throw it on all the TVs and stuff like that if it's an Amber Alert. So, mm -hmm. and all your cell phone devices. Yeah, if you actually click and the I link think these were extenuating were circumstances. So that makes sense. So it says Cindy Tin has been located. Is that her? Yes, Cindy Tin. I know one. Yep. That'd be just recently. Okay, well, there you go. See, we solved another case, you guys. This is great. Well done. We're doing great, right. just like the psychic. Who are we killing tonight? <laughs> yeah. That's to be determined. We've had a lesson on food, and we've had a lesson on people that that uh, Alan has known, and I think they're all dead. And right? we've mentioned Trump many times. We can't see. We do keep it. trying. We We're keep trying. trying. You <laughs> can right. give us credit we for trying. Do we have he any needs time? to go to jail before he dies? I know. I want to see him in orange. Um, I think I think Rob mentioned Lost in Space last week, and then look what happened. Um, 
the guy from Lost in Space died. Rob. Who? Thanks, Rob. Who? The guy that played Don. That's right. Oh. Rob killed somebody off. I did not hear that. Oh. Rob. Rob. Rob killed him with a shotgun approach. I've mentioned the whole show and hit at least one person. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That'll do it to you. Um. All right. So, um. Do we have other announcements? I don't think I have anything at the moment, except I've been uploading like a crazy fool to my YouTube channel. Thank you if anybody's following and watching my videos, because I I spent three days getting through two hours and it's like 15, 20 hours for me of, mm -hmm. of my videos for two hours. And it I keep crazy. getting notifications that Susan Gerbic has put up a new uh, video. Oh my gosh, you guys, you know, I'm starting to change my focus a lot because a lot of the people who evaluate psychics, they're evaluating the stuff that's live, you know, like, like, uh, you know, something that Teresa Caputo put on her show or something that, you know, Matt Fraser put on his show. I'm really starting to get more focused on getting the readings myself or people giving me the readings. So what they're giving me are private readings, readings that are never supposed to see the light of day and that's where the meat is in this it's just incredibly um uh predatory what happens in behind the scenes anybody's been there cindy's done it peggy's done it rob's done uh seen these videos who else has seen these kind of things carolyn probably has but they're just it. it's it, yeah Kevin, it's really predatory what happens and so the videos i put up with this cold reader are just i mean health um, financial stuff. They they tell them all this stuff because they don't realize that it's ever going to make the light of day. So it's it's been really fascinating to see. So I don't know, but that's what I've been doing. Anything else that we need to announce? Psychon. Can anybody see Steve O's uh, podcast today with uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson? It was pretty good. Oh no, I don't know who that is. The guy from Jackass did a pod. There's a podcast. He's usually pretty funny, but he had he had really good with. Uh, conversation with neil degrasse tyson hmm. they talked about that we're going to put um a restaurant on the moon someday they said okay. the food will be good but it won't have much atmosphere oh <laughs> oh did he come up with that because that's like so vincent or actually <laughs> jim now that both of those canadians are just oh man what is it about them i think they all week they sit and think about what they're going to say <laughs> oh, Susan. Oh, it's their uh psyche automatically goes to uh uh things things that are similar honey so rob you said you were to say something yeah i don't want to tell the whole story now because it's already late but just uh the, the end part of it um can, probably Kenny Biddle and I are going to be presenting why believing in psychics is dangerous at the uh, Jackson County Library because I put up a fuss today that they're actually having a psychic fair. Yeah. Oh, I've been, I've been pushing that for you, Rob. all day. Okay, so Kenny, Kenny agreed to come down and, and do it. And uh, yeah, the first the person was blowing me off and then it went up to a higher level and then she was blowing me off until I mentioned uh, it's a national uh, science uh, conference and organization founded by uh, people and and uh, fellows of Neil deGrasse Tyson and Bill Nye and whatever. And I write for the magazine and so does this other person. I want to put you in contact with, oh, let, let me, what's the name of these? And I hear her typing on her keyboard. She's Googling Committee for Skeptical Inquiry and CFI and Skeptical Inquire. Oh, okay. I'll put you in touch with our, uh, our the correct departments. And then I already got an email basically <laughs> to, to to do a talk. Awesome. So I don't know Very if they're awesome. going to cancel this. Awesome. Stuff, but, Very awesome. Yeah. I'm in New you. Jersey? Yeah. Uh, uh, Daniel Reed, uh, West Virginia has had a lot of success. He had 50 people show up to his talk that he gave last night right. in, um, in a library in a college library. And it's just so, it feels amazing to see just these little efforts that people, one person might do just gets the word out there a little bit further. And I'm so, I'm so pleased. All right. So we're ready to go Um, the third group. Uh, is going to be Kyle. Let me hey, see if hey. we can figure out which one he is. Oh, there he is. He's not <laughs> the guy with the side face, right? I gotta I tell you, something. Susan, I didn't I didn't prepare a round for tonight. I'm sorry. Oh yeah, well, okay. Got it. Kyle, what you got for us? 
Well, the category is going to be uh, things I learned on our recent trip to Mexico City. I actually Ooh. wanted it to focus on Teotihuacan, which was the highlight of the trip. But as it turns out, the majority of the things I fact-checked from our guide turned out not to be true. So <laughs> we're, uh, we're down I'm to just the, the true parts and some bonuses on top of that. Oh, that should be interesting. Okay, what All are you right. calling this category? Let's just call it Mexico City Facts. Okay. So question with a number question one. mark after fact. Right. <laughs> uh, again, with the focus to start with on Teotihuacan, there was an active little excavation going on when we visited because in 2003, an old tunnel was rediscovered near the Temple of the Plumbed Serpent. Why was it found? The Temple of the Plumbed Serpent is one of the shorter monuments. Uh, you can still climb it, and we did. Uh, at the peak of uh, its uh, at the peak of Teotihuacan, what is the estimated population? And I'll give you a plus or minus ten percent, or plus or minus ten k, whichever is more generous. Can can I say I'm super impressed the, your pronunciation of that word? <laughs> okay. That's very good. I well, I learned it from Grant Hancock, sadly. Oh, the <laughs> archaeologist, the pseudoscience guy. Yeah, yeah, he. We got muted. So oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Good. I'm sorry. I was late <laughs> doing the muting. <laughs> the archaeologist on Netflix, right? Yeah, yeah. I haven't there's watched a, There's a lot of pseudo, like ancient alien pseudoscience stuff related to it. Wow. In the event, moving along to three. The people of the civilization had a form of numerology. They built progressively larger monuments, literally on top of the previous monuments, kind of like a uh, Russian doll, up to the nth iteration. Uh, what is the value of N, a special number to them? Question number four. The Pyramid of the Sun, the tallest one, was closed during COVID, for the obvious reasons. It uh, has not since been reopened. Why not? Question five, what mineral uh, extensively mined by the Teotihuacan civilization from a nearby mountain was used to create sharp edge tools, mirrors, and other valuable items? It is also a block type in Minecraft. They tried to sell us a bunch of trinkets made out of it while we were there. Minecraft? Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, no, they were selling us real trinkets, not Minecraft trinkets. Uh, question six, the Mexico City Metropolitan Cathedral, like many buildings in the city, is sinking. How far in meters has the lowest corner sunk, plus or minus 10%? Or plus or minus the imaginary number, I guess. <laughs> Square root of one. Yeah, yeah. Square root of one. All right, getting away a little bit from uh, Teotihuacan, because, uh, of course, the Aztecs were a different people. But according to Aztec legend, a god instructed the Aztecs to establish their capital city where they saw a symbolic scene involving three key elements. Today, those three key elements appear on the flag of Mexico. Name them. And uh, this is something I first learned about from Ben Radford. The local legend in Mexico City speaks of a ghost in a flowing gown that mournfully weeps, haunted by her own actions, taking the lives of her children. What is she called? Number nine, getting into current events. This journalist was behind the recent alien bodies presented to Mexico's Congress. He lives in Mexico City. What is his name? Oh, his name. Dang it. And uh, finally, question 10. Although I was well aware of this artist who called Mexico City home, I was unaware of the spina bifida condition they had since birth, complicated by a car accident at the age of 18. Who is this artist? Very good. At least no one. <laughs> we will not have a zero score. Okay, send us our rims. Great. You guys are getting so much better at this, not second guessing, asking a bunch of questions. I'm proud of y'all. 
Oh, cat. We got to put cat in a room. Nobody got the fight over cat. Um, it's going to be room four. Okay. I know. Remember, I took a course in college of archaeology. We learned about Tia Tira Khan. Oh, great! Wonderful. But it's not. But, but it's not. But it's not going to help. Oh, yes. that was. You may recall oh. something. Okay, so one. Anybody have a guess? I was thinking like the old tunnel was rediscovered. But probably building a road or or digging. Digging the sewer or building. Maybe digging a foundation for a building. I don't know. That's usually what they, how they discover things. Yeah, that makes sense. Like road construction or an earthquake had happened mm -hmm. and made the parking lot, building a parking lot or something, or a sewer system. Yeah. You gotta come up with a reason. Can we just say digging in the area for for construction? construction. Yeah, say yeah, local construction. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's how the Jesus tomb was just found. Same thing. What? They just found the Jesus tomb? Yeah, the tomb of Jesus and his um yeah, they found a, a tomb where I used okay. to live in Jerusalem. It what? has done deal. Yeah, yeah, it has the um the grave site. Well, it has the, the bone boxes of Joseph, Mary, um, James, which was Jesus's brother, um, Mary Magdalene, which was his wife, and their son. What what makes them think? Wait, what? Mary boxes. Magdalene was actually Jesus's wife. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Look up, look. Yes. You look up um, the discovery of the Jesus tomb on the internet, and you can read all about the archaeological diggings that's taking place. So, tomb. I I tomb admit it. this should be Jesus, big news. I assume Jesus is missing, so proving that he rose from the dead. Then, is yeah, the right? bone father. I know that they were doing DNA testing of whatever remains were in the boxes, in the ostuaries. This wasn't, going in the, wasn't in the Gnostic Bible, there was like even the Gospel of Mary Magdalene. So she was one of the disciples. So it was pretty much, um, you know, figured that because he was a rabbi and they were expected to marry, that was his wife. Yeah. Yeah, I think that news to me. I don't that. understand Which how I could have missed this. And he yeah, had it's children. You, you look on look on the internet. You call, I it's see called it, but Calpia. there's the, from the 2021. Thing. Yeah, the Jesus Family Tomb. There's actually a book written about this. The Jesus Family Tomb. How did they figure it was Jesus' family, or just well, not some the way of writing? writing. Yeah. All right, the names guys. Of all the Interesting the names discussion. Of all the we need to move on. We're on question one. Go on. Okay. We'll talk later about it. <laughs> I'm just right. here to spoil everybody's fun. Okay. Okay. Number two, um, yeah, thousand, twenty, thirty. Well, plus minus ten thousand. I thought it was, was like a hundred thousand. I, I don't know. I would I say a hundred thousand. Hundred thousand. There's okay. a pretty big population to you, Tiwakan. Yeah, hundred thousand. What What you say, Jamie? Maybe a hundred thousand. Okay, is everybody good with that? What do you think? Hundred and fifty or some. I don't know. That's fine. 100 oh, or 150? 100, maybe. 100's fine. Okay, okay. so because we're just guessing. I don't know number three. I mean, why Why would N have much value to him? Because that's a European alphabet. Well, N just means, you know, it's just, just a oh, number. Uh, just like yes. he's just using just, the letter n as to represent as a variable yeah it's just or... a, the nth i mean that's just a mathematical variable it's kyle um, <laughs> yeah the n. it's gonna have a mathematical i'm surprised he didn't use the lowercase i for imaginary well, it's supposed to be it should be a lowercase n actually mm, but, you can talk um about it's a center of numerology so what's a what's a special number is there a number special in nine american Nines nine? are threes, sevens. But back in Mexico. In Mexico. Put nine, maybe? Nine. Just seven. a guess. one of their, their, um, I don't know, just a guess. Pyramids, nine levels or something. You know? yeah. well, uh, nine is as good as anything. 
Nine. All right. Okay. I wrote down okay so why was the Pyramid of the Sun closed even after COVID? Maybe they're oh. doing restoration. They're trying to fix, you know, yes. there's like erosion or something. Oh, like they closed you know, it. Let's do the restoration. We haven't finished through. it. Yeah. Well, maybe maybe they're concerned about too many tourists. Well, they probably, well, if they had the tourists, it was a moneymaker for that region, of course. So they don't want to get rid of the moneymaker. Then maybe it just was dangerous because of erosion or something. It was getting too old and maybe they need to reinforce it or something. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, that's good. So that, that re makes... Restoration would be a is, good catch all for that. Restoration is continuing. Yeah, that's good. That's a good answer. Okay, yeah. this is a min like mineral that. question. That's your it's question, fine. Jamie. Is, is that onyx? Could be onyx? Is onyx is mineral or, or rock? Or well, onyx, could, could, that onyx. Be, could onyx may, be made into a, a mirror? It's yeah, very, it's very um, shiny. Very yeah. shiny and very um, sharp. And it's very popular in Mexico. When you yeah. go to Mexico, all these chess sets are always made out of black onyx. Okay. Oh, okay, got I it. Think. It sounds good. I mean, it's all could also be. Um, okay, let's stick on it. There's another one I thought of. Um, but onyx is popular. It's a, a very Mexican mineral. Okay, that's good. Number six. Oh, number seven. There's three different things on there. Oh, yeah, seven. It's He's in trouble. Six. Well, number yeah, six. I don't know six. Don't I don't know. Know. Mexico City is sinking. It was how many meters? So at the lowest corner. So meter is what? And I, I just heard this recently about how many feet, not meters, it had actually sunk so far. And I forgot, completely forgot. How many was the feet? I completely forgot. Here, I'm going to hypnotize you. <laughs> <laughs> Stop laughing. I, I don't think it's going to work. You want to say two meters, three meters? What do you want to say? Oh. Yeah, well, I don't know. Two meters how... six feet. A meter is a yard. Right. Yeah, it's a lot more than six feet. A lot more than six feet. Really? Because Mexico City was, was built on a lake. Well, that is, I just want to have an of indigenous people though. there filled in a big lake. Okay, he says everything sunk a bit. The answer is the relative data delta. Oh. He typed too much information. All right. Okay. <laughs> Between the, the most sunk corner and the least sunk corner. Okay. And Rob Rob is asking for help. You know what that means? Yeah. He didn't understand what it was just on that little thing right there. How much you would bet? Yep. So let me see. Yeah. Well, as I'm saying, he's probably talking just about one building, the one yeah. building corner, not the whole. Yeah, but it's all said he is sinking. So, but um, but it's tipped. If it's sink, one corner is sinking more than the others. The whole yeah. building is tipped. But right, yeah, because the by building. definition, the whole thing didn't just sink. sink. You know, right. uniformly. Yeah. So what? Yeah, probably because the maybe there's more weight in that particular corner. Right. So a lot bigger buildings. So I mean, six six to twelve feet is pretty. You know, that's a lean. You know, I mean, that's too many. So maybe you say two or three meters. Three meters is nine feet. Yeah. All right. I'm writing three it down. Un unless anybody disagrees. What did, what did you pick? Three, three meters. Oh, three so meters. That's nine, okay. That's nine feet. That's quite a bit. That's nine feet. That's nine feet. So okay. That is quite a lot. Now quite number seven. One is an eagle, one is a snake. Yeah. And the third is is it a rose? Yeah. Or thorns? Yeah. Maybe oh, is thorn, it thorns? Thorn oh, so we have cactus. We have cactus? three answers. That's why I said he's gonna be in trouble yeah. for making us come up with three. Yeah. That's probably what Rob's is Rob gonna let him get away with this? Well, I don't know. Yeah, oh. But the, the well, eagles doesn't the eagle stand on a cactus on the flag? A prickly pear cactus. Do you know? I don't know. I I thought it was. Yeah, I thought the eagle stands is standing on a cactus, holding a snake in its mouth. Oh. 
What do you think? Sure. Well, are, are those the three answers? Eagle, eagle and snake. Cactus, eagle, snake, and cactus. And cactus. Oh, cactus. Yeah, I think. So wouldn't yeah, the think... elements, so if, if that's that, wouldn't the elements, would that be earth, sky? Because snake would be earth. Right? Sky oh, yeah. would be the eagle. I think he means design elements. Okay. Right? Design elements, symbolic design elements. Okay. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah. Okay. So cactus, cactus, eagle, and eagle snake. Okay. And snake. A cactus, huh? I think it's I think the eagle is standing on a cactus. All the Mexican coins. That's what I'm looking at. I'm thinking of. I think the eagle stands on a cactus. Okay. Um, I, hope so. I hope so. Number eight, I think is, I can't remember if it's La Lorna or La Lorena. La Lorna, I think. Oh, that's good. Oh, that movie. Doesn't that sound familiar? Well, there's a movie by that name. La well, La originally, Lorna. if I remember right, it came from Spain, but she, she was, she killed her children. Oh, La Llorona. I'm sorry, I didn't realize yeah. I was I was answering a question. The other one, it's La Llorona. La Llorona. Okay. Uh -huh. so, I, was I don't know how to spell it though. La La Llorona. La La Llorona. Yeah. She's the woman in white, like uh, that cr yeah. the creature that does the. I'm sorry. I yeah. Somebody was asking me a question. I just zoned for a moment. Um. I do not know this man's name. I think it's Carlos or Carlos something something. I think it's a three bump 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 like Carlos something Sanchez or something like that. It's so it was a common enough name that I I think that it didn't really stick in my brain, but I have a feeling it's three Carlos words. is full of caca. No. <laughs> Do you guys? Does anybody know this answer? No. Um. Oh, and the last one everybody should know. It's um, it's uh, Frida Carl. Yeah, I just uh, Frida. I didn't know her last name. Yeah, that she that was awful a good life movie about about her. That was a good movie. I haven't seen yeah. it. But well, good luck, everyone. A... Well, wait, wait. Oh. We need number nine. Oh, you can't leave until you have number nine, Carolyn. Okay, you know the rules. <laughs> You show them. Oh, I know. Yes, I know. What time it is? Oh, there's a kitty climbing through the forest. That's creepy. <laughs> I'm sorry, but these backgrounds are so creepy when things kind of crawl in. <laughs> so we got number nine? Yeah. Okay. Oh, no, number 10? 10 is Frida Carlo. Oh yeah, excellent, excellent, very good. Um, do we get three? Any, any oh, idea? Nine. You you want to throw out just a Hispanic name for? So I I for some reason I'm thinking is Carlos, Carlos Sanchez. Santos or something okay. like that. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, so you've sent him as. I'm I'm sorry, but this 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 is this Jesus thing is too weird. I know. This, is, I, this should I be big gonna... news. Making an assumption. If we knew know, that Jesus was actually, I don't think. Okay, living. so from what what I remember, they they could not obviously authenticate that it was that Jesus. But if I remember, what's the name of the box, Jamie? The um, it begins um, with ostuary. Ostuary, right? So they had one that had uh, Joseph's name, and it actually said, if I remember, and this was a couple of years ago, it actually said something about uncle or something. So that's why there was a connection. Yeah, well, they had one which was in the Asian Museum, James, which was the brother. And then they just then in Talpio, they discovered this tomb and yeah. that asteroid was missing. So in this tomb, they found the ostuary or the bone boxes with the labels of Joseph, Mary, James, Jesus, Mary, and his son, which was, I forgot, his son James or Judah. I forgot one of the names, but anyway, but what they found was 
the probability of having all those tombs, those boxes, having those particular names all in the same location. And they determine the probability of it actually being the family of Jesus. No. But there's, there's How lots common of was the name Mary back then? Or whatever the equivalent to Mary is. And Joseph, yeah. my goodness, come well, on. That's what I'm I don't think they could ever verify from what I remember that it is the Jesus. But I mean, it's just compelling. You have to read about it. Yeah, you have to read but about it. Can they get DNA from all of these subjects? Yeah, but well, they, they wouldn't know what the, the DNA is. Right. If, even if they did, who would they? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it. If, it if you could compare it to uh, somebody they shouldn't be belonged to like let's say they have the dna of um I think, I think they like did like that. a like a like the pontus pilot or something and yeah, they no, say they, they, no wait this is a, a lot of dna in common with pontus pilot and that can't be jesus's family because why would no, they have european no, I think, I, recently no i think recently i have a friend who was involved in the archaeological dig in talpio um and I think they did do some DNA testing. I think what they found, I'm, I'm trying to remember, that a, re a relation, that Joseph and Mary were not related. Jesus and James had the DNA of both Joseph and Mary. Mary Magdalene, again, the, the names were in Hebrew, not exactly what I'm saying. Mary Magdalene and Jesus did not have similar DNA, but Judas, which I forgot what the name of the son was, but that did have common DNA. So I think there was some DNA testing that was done well, he should like in the last year. Joseph's DNA. How could I Jesus mean, have Joseph's DNA? He'd have a different father. <laughs> well, yeah, that's true. Right? But, but, yeah, it's all of it. Yeah. But I think there's been, um, again, I have a friend who's working on this, this study. And there's been a lot of studies done in the last year, which may not be published yet. But I know if you go on the internet, it gives you some general idea of what's been happening. Oh, okay, but there's a Wikipedia page. There's a Wikipedia, Wikipedia page. And... One of it says that it seems to belong to a wealthy Judean family. Well, Jesus of Nazareth came from a low class Galilean family. So yeah, and and he has a and son. That. Although, uh, who's who's to say though? Whoever we don't wrote, know. Yeah, no. Wrote, the, the believers want to believe the Bible. You know, yeah. And, and the stories are they were written, you know, hundreds of years apart. Right. Then we'll never know. Right. And those names probably were more common than so. <laughs> and hundred, uh, a hundred or more years after the supposed. Oh, bye, Carolyn. Car bye. Carolyn, trying to leave. Bye, bye Carolyn. Bye, Thanks Carolyn. for everything. See you later. Thanks for staying to the third round. Yeah. But, I, but the reason I brought it up was because I used to live in Talpiot, which was his neighborhood in Jerusalem. And when they were doing a, um, a construction site for a new apartment building, they discovered this tomb. And that's how a lot of these archaeological sites, I mean, these, and typically well, they're found from construction sites. Well, this site that I think was discovered in 1800s. That's what this Wikipedia page is saying. Oh. And that in 1899, that's when people... Okay. Ugh. You're gonna need to reassign Kyle, Kyle so he's probably gonna end up in group uh, three. Was, were you guys arguing? Uh, did you call him over because you were upset no. about the question has three answers, or about question six where he had? No, we hadn't even been. We we didn't get there yet, but I was when I saw that. But no, no, it's because of the broadcast message which cut leave, off leaves it up for such a short amount of time. I didn't even finish reading it. That's why I called him. Yeah, I saw the I saw the broadcast and I said, oh, I didn't read it. And then we didn't see immediately it. Immediately, I see Rob saying, it, it, "I need it help." Stays up. I'm like, it's, much, it's briefer than the disclaimer on the Psychic Friends Network. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wow! Or, or, or more, what are, more are we talking about? The day on the the Goop Lab. Okay, they here we go. Like what is literally it? five seconds. What was it? it? Says so something what? about question six and this and the sinking of it or something. We didn't get any uh, message. Yeah, it was at the top, but, but it was we, only there. But we, we got Kyle. Kyle. We didn't uh, get Kyle or the message. So can we find out what it was? Um, that we're talking about the relative sink of the most sinkiest corner, not how much has the whole building sunk. But if you think of it as flat, the lowest corner, how difference is it? Yeah, yeah. we kind of got that. Yeah. yeah. 
And and so congratulations on making up a new word, sinkiness. <laughs> Sink, oh, somebody's used that before, I'm sure. Somewhere, but not on <laughs> video like we have. Do we want to change yeah. our answer? Because I think we were going on total sink sinkishness. Oh, I wasn't assuming that myself, but okay. T total okay. sinkosity. Yeah. No. No, I, I was thinking, start with no, one for answers. I was thinking this tunnel found in 2003 due to rain. Uh, oh. There was a lot of rain, and then suddenly the rain was gone, and no one knew where the rain went. And oh. uh, there had to be a reason why. Oh, uh, interesting. So would that that would not be a sinkhole form? That sounds uh, like a sinkhole. No, sinkhole is a sinkhole. Yeah, yeah. a sinkhole it's opens a, up. Sinkhole the mile. It's a sinkhole. <laughs> All right. Ooh, the thanks population. for giving me the link. Mm -hmm. The thing is that the tunnel goes back. There's a huge, you know, 12 galleries of uh, rooms underneath that nobody knew were, were there. It's quite a find. Really cool never stuff. Heard of it. Were there were there any alien spacecraft? Still being yeah. excavated. Keep your fingers still crossed. Still time. <laughs> None that they've disclosed. On to the population of Teotihuacan. The estimates for its peak were 125,000. So I give you the range oh, there, of a plus or minus. Did we hit it, oh. you guys? <sighs> and then the uh, magic number that they built these Russian doll pyramids out of. Everything was built seven times, oh, right oh, on top of the others. Seven. We said oh, okay. nine. We, we hit a plus, plus or minus, or minus plus one or minus on that two, one, right? right? Kyle. Did anybody <laughs> get seven? seven? We said five, we said nine. We should have met in the middle. Uh, we mentioned seven at one point, but we didn't go with it. There's, that's a number. That's very good, you guys. We Interesting put side note, a lot of the art that's been saved was because they literally built on top of it. So that's how it got preserved. Oh. You built on art? Yeah, just it was literally like a, a fresh start every time. Build on oh top. Oh my gosh. A man with no <laughs> arms, no legs, hanging on a wall. Yeah. Art. Yeah. <laughs> On to four, why can you no longer go up the Sun Pyramid? Not allowed anymore. The reason is because during COVID, they determined that it is cracked and is no longer considered safe. Mm. Yay, we got, Yay we got one right. <laughs> the, Yay. the mineral that they uh, got quite good at many, of, of getting out of the ground and doing stuff with is obsidian. Oh, that rules oh, our, oh, our score. I said one. that. I said that, but we kind of talked ourselves out of it. I didn't even know if it was a mineral because that's what we are. In fact, take it or leave it on this, but they said one of the reasons the culture didn't de develop metal was because they got by on obsidian. They made great knives yeah. and weapons and stuff out of it. That's a good yeah. one. Ah. So like then uh, the main cathedral, it has sunk a lot. You don't want to go in there drunk. It is very uh, up and down at points. The lowest point which you can go to, and it's very clear that it's low, it is three meters down that it has sunk from the rest yes. of the building. Oh. We and, put and the, the right and number. And the building hasn't collapsed? I... It has been reinforced in a number of ways, and it is an ongoing engineering project. And then the legend, which now appears on the Mexican flag, contains three key elements. An eagle perched on a cactus, devouring a snake. Yes! <laughs> Damn it! Thank so, you for talking so, me into the cactus, so, you guys. So, Kyle, uh -huh. we had a general. We had a bird, a snake, and a cactus. I said an eagle, didn't I? Or did I just say bird? I heard you say an eagle. Okay. Good. In fact, you said it in this like very non-committal way, like, I think it was an eagle, <laughs> and maybe he was eating a snake. <laughs> uh, number eight. I didn't hear, I don't think, any correct answers on this. I was surprised. It also had a recent major motion picture. It's La Llorena. <laughs> We got it. We got hey, that. we got that one. I just didn't know how to spell it. Yeah, spelling definitely does not count. La Llorona. La Llorona. La Llorona. And we almost spelled it correctly, too. Yeah, we came pretty close to spelling it correctly. Spelling similarly does not count for number nine, Jaime Mosan. Oh, I didn't even get close. Sorry, team. I said Carlos something or Carlos Santos or something. If we anglicize the last name to Mason, is that good enough? <laughs> if you got if you Jaime Mason, Mason, I would count it. That's James close. Mason doesn't work. All right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Jaime Mason. And then uh, let's make spelling count for number 10 since it seemed to be the easiest one. It's Frida Kahlo. 
Huh. Oh, I misspelled it. <laughs> 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 I got the first name right, but I I put C for. But I wasn't keeping score, so I'm sure my team got there you it. Go. Right. Yeah. So there Very are ten good. facts I picked up in Mexico City. And and so these were the true ones. Yes. True facts are the best kind. Fact, yeah. fact checked, huh? Very good. That was fun. Very fun. Um, <laughs> I need to screen share for you guys who need, like to see the scores. So oh. we're anywhere between 10 and 17. So Kat, I put you on this team here, 16 or bust. How'd you guys do? Uh, I think we got a four. Is that right? That's about right. <laughs> All righty then. Okay, we're sick of stupid Republican jokes. All 221 of them. Four. That's a really good name, by the way. And up here, we got give the intern Josh the house speakership. He'd do much five. better. Do so much better than um, Jim. You guys know, call him Jim. G-Y-M, right? Yeah. It's not looking good. We held three votes and we still haven't selected a new team name. Like, uh, I think we got four. Dang. Um, I thought it was three. Where, where's the, I, I got, I got number five, seven and 10. What else you got? Oh, I guess we're not counting the, the think hole for one. No. All right. Three. Three. Oh my. All right. Looks like we're catching everybody up to the right, to close mm. sports. Bed bugs for speaker. Three. Well, Kyle, you're, Ooh, I God. thought those were great questions and we had great discussions. We got caught up on the Jesus tomb that I'd never heard <laughs> of before, but uh, your score, 3.8, I guess they were just too hard. That was Ron worthy. Right. Next time <laughs> I'll know. do something easier, like uh, fundamentals of information theory. Well, there you go. Because we, we listen to skeptic. Um, give that a try. Yeah. Would you probably be fine with it. I'll never but, forget the cactus again. Yeah, that cactus. Somebody at the last minute gave us cactus, and I, I was thinking of thorns or something. You got anyway. eagle and snake, but not cactus? Yeah, I got so eagle, eagle, snake, snake and cactus. thorns. I was thinking we were, of this last we night. Branches. We didn't get the cactus. We said eagle, snake, and corn. Oh, that's a, a good plant. guess, though. You also had a good guess on the subway being the reason they found something. They find yeah. all types of stuff in Mexico City from the subway, but not in yeah. Teotihuacan. <laughs> Okay. Hmm. No, anyway, I like the category. I like the questions. I thought it was. I thought it was fascinating. But Kyle did not commit the unforgivable sin of saying, "Oh, you're all going to know all of these." Yeah, he sure didn't. He didn't kill anybody. I don't think either. Thank you, Kyle. Appreciate that. All right. So good job. Question. I like those kind of things when they're hard like that because it, it levels up the scores a lot too. So I think that's what's the matter. I don't what's know. What's the matter, Kevin? What's the matter, you? What's the matter, you? The dog. What's the matter, you? Okay, so do we have any volunteers for next week? I need round one and round two filled up. Or it's going to be a very I'll short game sphere. next week. I'll be at the sphere this time next week. Yeah, Yay. I'll be going too. Ben's running the game. You know that, right, Ben? <laughs> you can try and trip them, Susan, by saying, hands up everyone who was not going to PsyCon next week. I'll do Kevin. one. Kevin, all right. Thank you, Kevin. <clears throat> one more person. Who am I going to? Okay. Has, has Kat, Kat done one yet? No. No, we haven't had Kat. No, we Bill, usually uh, make him Bill's go five. Bill's volunteering. Bill's got his hand up. Still, either Bill's Bill, leaving or he's volunteering. Bill, because I want to have I want to be here when Kat does her first one. We want to let her have Did five. You me, Susan? Huh? Yeah, I got you. Okay. I what are we gonna... still... Kevin, Bill, Romero, Peggy, and Jamie. What and I always do about say people go five week? rounds before they, five games before they get to. Oh, yeah. You should probably sign people up for the following week. Yeah, because hardly anyone will be there back. next week. Okay, so the week after is November 2nd. Do we have any takers on that? We should just do the same ones over. <laughs> no, I'm be watching the video. Right. So, okay, so we're gonna put Gail. No, I, can, put... I can do a, I can do a round. Okay, I can do a bonus. All right, Deborah's got bonus. My internet's still working. <laughs> okay, and Deborah, <laughs> so you won't be at Psycon? No, no, this no, is the no, week after. after. This is the the November second oh, week. Yeah. Yeah, she yeah, better I'll be at Psycon because it. I'm rooming with her. <laughs> oh, oh good okay okay so we'll come back to that in a minute. We let's, get, let's let lee get in here and start with his questions 
What are we going to get from Lee today? Hopefully it'll be a little easier. All about Yamas. No. Yamas? Yamas? It's going to be about my very, one of my very favorite movies. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, oh yay. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't watched it in years, though. Well, that's. Uh, that could never. Could cool. this movie be made now? No. 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 <laughs> no. Be sure to unmute yourself, Lee. You got Google News up on it on the screen right now. You want to un unshare? Oh, okay, let me get back. I have a feeling he wants to show us a screenshot, a screen PowerPoint. Unshare and then reshare. There we are. Okay. Down. There's no questions on there. You had it, and then you lost it. What'd you do? Well, it only had one page, so. Yeah, it's just one page on that, but I'm trying to. What the heck happened? <sighs> Where is the rest of my. Would you like me to fix it? Yeah, go ahead. I can't. Uh... Yeah, right. Unshare. Go back to the gallery view and then come back in. Then open up your, your the application you want and then share again. It is not. It's Okay. Okay, can you figure out how to unshare? There. There you go. Now oh, finally. Okay. okay. All right. Thank you. Sorry. Now. All right, so go back to my chat. Okay, question number one. What Western icon turned down a rule? Why isn't it pasted in? Hit enter. Okay. A lot of times people just forget to hit the enter key. There we go. Nothing. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. Oh, but she sent it to me direct message. So hit everyone. That's because oh, I had sent you that. those direct messages before. Oh, no, no, no. You see where to change it to everyone in meeting? There you go. Perfect. Yay. Okay. And number two. The white overseers attempted to get the railroad workers to sing sweet low, swing low. Sweet Chariot and Camp Town Ladies. Workers didn't know those songs and instead they sung what? I don't see it. Did you put it up? You don't Jesus. Jesus, they found his grave. There we go. Okay. <laughs> oh. Okay, and why did the railroad have to be diverted through the town of Rock Ridge?
There's a scene as Sheriff Bart. There's a scene with Sheriff Bart riding a Palomino. What designer lab label was on his saddlebags? And as Sheriff Bart was riding out in the desert, somebody was playing music. Who was that? Hey, why isn't that? Now, in the town of Rock Ridge, everyone had the same surname. It happened to be Johnson. <laughs> and I'm laughing because Peggy's laughing. Hmm? <laughs> Peggy's laughing, so it made me laugh. I don't know why I'm laughing. <laughs> they could not make that that how many, how many flavors of ice cream were at the Johnson ice cream parlor? They're laughing because they're laughing. I don't know why it's funny. <laughs> well, have you know, I, I sat down and watched this movie just last week as I was putting this together. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to watch it soon. Uh, it's been years. It's a classic. I, you know, it's like back in the days when people weren't upset about everything. Yeah. The good old days. We didn't know it was a good old days. Okay, and Gene Wilder character introduces himself and says, my name is Jim, but most people call me blank. I'm going to get a zero on this. <laughs> you haven't watched it before, Robin? Not in 30 years. Yeah. You haven't seen all the questions yet. <laughs> There's three more. You have a chance. Oops. Wait a minute. They're not getting better. Oh. <laughs> Ages. What's the first word in the title to Blazing Saddles? Nine. What's the second word in the title to Blazing Saddles? <laughs> the Blazing Saddles. Okay. At one point, Sheriff Bart's depressed and his sidekick remarks, you've got to remember that these are simple farmers, the people of the land, the common clay of the New West. You know, blank. And let's see. Okay, Sheriff Bart's advised not to shoot Mongo, the villain Mongo, as that would only make him mad. So what does Bart do to defeat Mongo? And lastly, When the villain, come on, when the villain Headley realizes he's defeated, takes a taxi and goes to Groman's Chinese Theater. What movie is playing at the theater? Uh, I died. Okay. I don't know. You want to keep you busy for a while. Yeah. Hit enter because it didn't show yet. Okay. This is bringing back memories, you guys, but boy, I don't know. Hit uh, enter on question 10. Oh, sorry. 
There it goes. Good job. Okay, well, we got some diverse questions today. Here we go. What movie is playing? Everyone has to. Okay, assume. who's most recently watched this movie? <laughs> I don't know Bob if I've ever no. seen the whole thing. I don't think I've ever seen it. It's oh been a God. while for me. I don't know you how much you I'm should definitely remember. watch it. It was a great Thank movie. You. Everybody should have seen it. It's been a really long time since I've seen God it. Wants help. Okay. I know some of the lines, but. So I remember the answer to number three is quicksand. Oh, oh. okay. okay. I was guessing number one was John Wayne. I thought it was John Wayne that's too. The only Western icon I know. <laughs> that's well, a good answer. There's always Clint Eastwood, but um, I think it was John Wayne because I, I, I was still alive back Wayne. then, right? Yeah. What do the workers sing instead? I'm trying to remember that song. <sighs> I remember the was scene. It I a, can't remember the song. Was it a Frank Sinatra song? The only reason I'm asking is because the there's an excerpt from the movie in this album I listened to that's kind of a rendition of old uh, Frank Sinatra songs. Mm. I'm glad you remembered Quicksand. I didn't remember that. No, the that answer to number six is one. One? <laughs> that nice. sounds great. Right. Oh my god. <laughs> and the answer okay, number seven is would Jim. Been... That's what I thought. I'm like, isn't it just most people call me Jim? <laughs> yeah. That's my name is Jim, yeah. but most people call me Jim. I don't remember eight, that. Eight. Is it I can't remember. Is it idiots? Uh, yeah. I'm I think thinking it's either it's idiots or, really? or, or morons. Or morons, or... yeah. Simpletons, or is it assholes? It's, I can't. Remember. It's either morons or idiots. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. What would make more comedic? What would fit comedically? Uh, moron sounds funnier. I think. Yeah, it just my my the brain is clicking West. with that you know, more. Idiot. Yeah. The common play yeah. of the New West. Moron. Morons. Morons just kind of feel like it's. Yeah, more I just it sounds more correct, but. Yeah. <laughs> I don't I, know. I, I could be. I'm going to okay. kick myself when we hear the answer to number nine. Oh, yeah. What I is can't remember it. Mongo? Play chess yeah. with them or something? Arm wrestle? And the movie playing at the theater was Blazing Saddles. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, was yeah. Really? That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Dang it. Just Bart due to defeat. Oh, that's awful. Mm -hmm. Okay, so on number four, what would have been the designer at the time that would have been the hot designer? Like, was it, was uh, it like Gucci you know? or Louis Vuitton? Or yeah, what would have been the, the all the, I could think of was Polo by Ralph Lauren because <laughs> 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 it's a horse, right? Right, yeah, that right, right. That's true. has it been around that long? Now, that's a good Ralph question. Lauren's been around since the 70s because this is the 70s, right? When the movie came out. Yeah, that sounds like it could be that Ralph Lauren. Okay, that's fine. I don't, I don't know, but it would be Derek Cardin then too. But Ralph Lauren Going sounds Ralph more, Lauren sounds more horsey. But did Polo come out in the eighties or was it out in the seventies? I've never owned anything by Ralph Ralph Lauren. I have no. Neither idea. have I. I know Polo was huge in the eighties. Mm -hmm. but i don't know if it started in the 70s or not but mm -hmm. i'm just like well that would be funny on the saddlebag it, it may have yeah you're right it would it would <laughs> if for people who knew oh, what it what was about that coco isn't there that other one that's got like a coco chanel chanel, coco chanel. That's not old enough oh that's coco so chanel goes back old. to the 50s yeah oh. but that was yeah okay who is playing music in the desert as the sheriff bart rode past I said Mel Brooks. 
<laughs> was it Liberace? Is that, yeah. that would there be there funnier. Piano? Or is that or Louis Armstrong and a trumpet? <laughs> I, well, I think Liberace would have been brilliant if there was a big piano with him all dressed up. Yeah, yeah that would be hilarious. I That'd like that. Funny. I want to go with that. We're just yeah, we, we're we're just the... creating our own answers we think are would be fitting. We don't know if they're right. But this and is... sheriff and I I remember number number nine. Okay, sheriff Bart sent him a candy gram with a box of exploding chocolates. You remember that? <laughs> yeah, I saw it not long ago. You know, you have you're you're educating your grandchildren right there. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't watch it with my grandchildren. Aww. They're too young. They're too young. Okay, give them a year or two. Yeah, I get it. You know, wait a little bit. So, what oh. song? Were yep, they I think that's the only Don't one we remember. Need. What song were they singing? Well, something else that'd be super silly. Oh, it's insanely silly. And he says, "What the hell is that shit?" I meant a song, a real song, right? Something that's like the that. line in the movie. Yeah. So is the song silly or is it a serious song and the fact that they're singing it as they work makes it silly? <coughs> I wish I remembered. Like Brandy was saying, is it a, like a Frank Sinatra type thing? Um, so they sing something like... Um, I don't know, like soul music or something, or you know, something kind of contemporary to, like the, you know, not when the movie looks like it's being made, but. And know, what was the hit during that the time the movie was made? Yeah. When was the movie made? Seventies. I think so. I mean, it could never like be made again. <laughs> 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 Something Can you imagine remaking something this all politically correct? There's no way, yeah. Or my way by Frank Sinatra. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they could do it as an animation. That'd be pretty good. Oh, I don't even know if they could get away with that. Well, it would be hard. Yeah, they would have to be, you know. Hey, South well, Park is still around. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but they're on a private network. Well, that's what I mean. They'd have to be on a private thing. Or... Yep, tell me, he's sing that song. Do da. Da, do da. And that's totally different from Sweet Chariot. I mean, they're both, right? you know, totally different tempo, totally different kinds of songs. One's sad, one's happy. But they're they're like traditional work songs, I think. Camp Town Ladies? Really? Well, like, like minstrel songs. Yeah, they were singing "Row, row, row your boat." Oh, row, row, row your boat. What do you think? That's ridiculous. That's pretty that ridiculous. Pretty ridiculous. Do and they then... do? Do they do it like in rounds? Like they start? <laughs> I don't know. I don't remember this. Movie. That would be pretty brilliant. I think we should put that. Okay, <laughs> who came up with that? Again, that, that yeah. I just I have no idea. I'm just throwing that out there for the heck of it. <laughs> I have no idea if that's right. I'm second guessing my answer to five, but I can't uh -oh. think of, of what else it would be. So this was out in the desert. Damn. But I just can see this big grand piano with this with the Yeah, and no, I think it was even it was even sillier than that. Um, <laughs> it, it, it was it was uh, some jazz band like a whole band yeah <laughs> the whole band Deborah from, was, Deborah from Saturday Casey's Night Live <laughs> the, the only the name McMahon? that comes to mind is, is Count Basie but I don't <laughs> Dave Brubeck no, it was it was it's older than that. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Who would they have like who would they have invited to do that? You know, like they're making this movie, they want a, a 
cops, you know, they want this thing to happen. Who would have been, who would have been available? Anybody with, you know, if they had paid him enough. Well, yeah. except for John Wayne. Right. <laughs> he might not have been feeling good. Right. <laughs> they're going to catch him as manga hey you kind of wonder like what, what part were they going to offer him yeah I do not think we will get the lowest score we've gotten in a round. Yeah, we got quite a few of these, right? So, <clears throat> yeah, it's all because I threw out the name John Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> I am useless to you people. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, you did better, much help, more helpful than I had. The collaborative effort. <laughs> Well, we were just designing something we think would be really silly. Hey, I'm up to $9.88 on my YouTube channel. Wow. Whoa. In three weeks, $9.88. That's before. Wow. Time. So you, you know, need to cash so that in. <laughs> You're in the big leagues now. I got I to gotta pay. I got to pay for my car and my house. <laughs> Pretty soon you're going to be double digits, man. You know, it's, yeah. it's, it's so close, Kat. I mean, tomorrow might be the day I hit $10. Well, I hit like every time I see one of your videos. Oh, thank you so much. I that, watch that it. I like it. People are I watching share some them. of them. They're just, it's just the, I don't know. Who knows? I don't know. I don't know anything about this stuff. I thought it'd be like up to $20 by now. Hey. <laughs> Put us out of our misery because we're not going to come up with the. Oh, come on. We got to come answer. up with. <laughs> we can do this, you guys. I mean, we've answered everything, right? We just don't Except know if for, our answers oh, yeah, are correct. Yeah. <laughs> we, there's answers for everything, but, you know. <laughs> Being correct. Sure in, in, in the land of alternative right. facts, they're all correct. <laughs> exactly. There you go. Well, it might, it might take more than one land, though, because there's like some of them are correct in one and some are correct in a different land of alternative, different. It's, it's the multiverse. Yeah, so. the multiverse, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And your point? <laughs> so if, it, if it wasn't Liberace. It was a mariachi well, band. Somewhere. <laughs> ooh, a mariachi band. But it's mariachi a ooh, as yep. if it's a, we right? know who it is. It was Charo. Charo, <laughs> with her, with her fruit on her head. Yeah, that who was? Great. No, they were playing music and not singing. <laughs> who was in the? So it makes it sound single. Well, I guess it could be a group. Menudo. Definitely, before yeah. Menudo. Yeah, yes. um, I I think Liberace is as good as. It fits the question. Who and they're playing. It fits music. the question. It sure would have been funny. Yes, it would. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine them pulling in a grand piano to some? Why the hell not? <laughs> sure. Well, it wasn't really a desert. It was shot on a set, right? So if if he wasn't in, or... he should have been. Yeah. <laughs> Pull him out of the grave. I mean, there's enough. There's enough desert near uh, Hollywood, anyway. Yeah. If the correct answer isn't Liberace, we'll just say it was somebody uh, like wh whoever. The If our answer to that question isn't right, I'll call Mandela effect. That's that's a good one. All right, Lee, that was a lot of fun. Now we're all going to watch it. I, I, I <laughs> Can I just talk to my team for just a second? Team, I'd like to go with Alan's answer for what, what we said just as we were leaving. Is that okay, Robin? Robin? She gave, gave, a, said she yes. gave a yes. thumbs up. She gave oh, okay, two sorry. thumbs up. All right. I was muted. All right. Oh, Kyle's got my shirt on. I just saw that. Hey, you guys, did you see that? He's wearing our shirt, the about time shirt. Look at that. Oh. Oh, I'm impressed. Woo hoo. Okay. What? Make sure you wash that so that it's clean for second. 
<laughs> I just saw it when he started. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Hey, okay. 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 what do you got, Lee? Now there's spoilers. I don't know if I want to watch the movie now that I know the answers. Oh, uh, there's. Trust me, this. Yeah. Is, you could if you have, I could knowing have fifty questions on it, I had to. I had to keep cutting back. Okay. Mm -hmm. What Western icon turned down the role? And just about everybody seemed to got this one right. It was our friend John Wayne. Okay. Oh, yay. yay. What role? <laughs> Sheriff Park? You no, know, whatever I read, it never said. It just said that he was offered a role. And he yeah, thought, I assume it's Mongo. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, why did he turn it yeah, down? It was probably say? like a cameo role or something like yeah. that. Was he busy or was he not healthy or what was the reason? He didn't like the concept. Oh, man. <laughs> he, did, he did say he would be first in line to buy a ticket. Oh. oh. <laughs> okay. The, the white overseers try to get the people to sing along with you know, <laughs> Swing Low Sweet Chariot. And all the black railroad workers are staring at each other like they have no idea. <laughs> What uh, what that possibly could be, mm -hmm. and they end up singing. I get a kick out of you, Frank. Uh, we did say Frank Sinatra, but we didn't. We ended up going with row yeah. row, row your boat. But it wasn't Havana right, Gila. It wasn't Havana Gila. Then it's definitely not Havana Gila. All right, but there I are some row, great row, row your boat would that, that would have been that would have been funny though. Good job, Randy. Yeah. Okay, and Randy got it. Don't the Indians speak mm -hmm. Yiddish? Okay, the railroad, yeah. the railroad had to be diverted because of quicksand. Yes. Yeah. Hey, oh, quicksand. Good. good job. Good answer. We didn't get it. A lot of people got this one, too. The um, On his saddlebags was Gucci. Yay. Oh, oh we, we went with Ralph Lauren. We, we mentioned Gucci. Yep. It was mentioned. Oh well. oh, well. And while he's riding across the desert, who does he bump into but Count Basie? Oh, oh, oh dang. We, almost did that. Dang, we yeah. said Liberace with a uh, piano. I knew it was a piano. Oh, he had the whole band. Yeah, the whole orchestra. Yeah. Oh, jeez. People in Paris. Mm -hmm. Oh, that that's his classic. Is it? I have yeah. got to watch this again. This is really good. It's a great movie. Since Johnson's ice cream parlor in 1874 was um, new, they had one flavor. Oh, yeah. oh. What was it? Vanilla? Good job, Leonard. Leonard. I don't think they specified it. Yeah. Oh. Sorry, ice cream yeah, but it's gotta be vanilla because everything <laughs> everything is the same there. Okay, and one of my very favorite lines in the whole thing is Gene Wilder saying, my name is Jim, but most people call me Jim. Right on, Alan. We got uh -huh. it. Thank you, Ron. I'll be using that at PsyCon, you guys, but I'll be saying my real name, okay? No. Gotta, gotta begin. Susan Gerbic. Susan. My name is Susan. Most people call me Susan. I'm going to do it with a straight face. I can do this. Most people call me Forrest. The common clay, you know, morons. Yes! We went with the right... Oh. We went with the right prop, um, bad word. <laughs> it's insult, Susan. Mm. Oh, sorry. <laughs> and let's see. Mm. Oh, Sheriff Bart's advised not to shoot uh, Mongo because it would just make him angry. And so he delivers a candy gram. That is candy a gram for Mongo. <laughs> the hidden bomb. Mm -hmm. And then the movie that was playing at mm -hmm. Chinese was Blazing Saddles. All right. Mm -hmm. Alan. Wow. Nice hey, Alan, job, that's some Leonard. right. Good job, oh, that Alan. Was, he saved our bacon. You know, it's hard to believe I was watching it, realizing that movie is almost, it will be 50 years old next year. Wow. Damn. Wow. 
I think we're going to need a part two, uh, Lee. Yeah, you, you couldn't put that movie on the air today. No. It would just be so... There'd be rioting. <clears throat> it's still a hilarious movie. Yeah. yeah. Do you think some people would find something to be uh, objectionable? <laughs> yeah. We may come to a time where people get back to finding humor and things, but we're not there yet. All right, we got anywhere from 14 to 20. Let's see if we pull this together. 16 or best, which was Lee's team? How do we Seven. do it? Okay, that's wow. not embarrassing. We'll stop right there. Yeah. Stop the count. Stop the count. We're sick of stupid Republican jokes, all 221 of them. I really like this line. That is so good. <laughs> Four. All right. So we passed you. Um, It's not looking good. We held three votes, so we still haven't selected a new team name. Ten. Oh, <laughs> oh my oh, God. Look at your, your yeah. up there. Okay, give intern Josh the house speakership. Six. Oh, look at that. Can they hold on to the lead? Bed bug for speaker. Five. <gasps> Ooh, we lost five. the lead. Five has just taken, jumped to the top. We blazed to the top. Oh. Blazed to the top. Finally, you found a category that was right on for you. 6.4. You wrote good questions there, Lee. Oh, we guessed on one what of them. What it be is around six, six, seven ish. That's perfect. Good job. Hey, we guessed on all of them. We still got a what? Five? Five. <laughs> That's pretty good. Okay. Everything. Very good. So next week is covered. The week after that, I have Gail, Rob, and Deborah doing bonus. Just, I'm sure Ben can pressure you guys, but just saying, is there anybody who wants on that November 2nd before I stop pressing? Girl. You can uh, put me down. Okay. Robin. Is that who you are? Okay, we're getting there. Good job. Okay, so we're on the last round. The last round. My gosh, the day has gone fast. Here's Robert. Robert, they call him. From what I understand, they call him Robert, Rob. Most people call me Rob. Okay, so this is should go rather quickly. And I, I don't expect anyone to get a 10, but I also don't expect anybody to get less than, I'll say, a 6. Uh, give me the 10 most spoken first languages in the world as of uh, January for some reason, which is when this website first language. is tracking it. Oh, correct. All right. So can we use, can we say baby to be, to be clear on that? <laughs> let, me, let me type what they, let me give you what they mean by I this. I guess it's a no. <laughs> no, there are over 7,000 languages spoken in the world. Name the top 10 languages ranked by the number of native speakers. And I even gave you a range. Wow. Okay. Any questions? Go to your room. Oh, dear. All right. Kevin was asleep. I don't know. Kevin, you awake? Is it just us two? I'm awake. Oh, okay. Well, you were asleep a minute ago. I was. Can't have that. All mm -hmm. right. I got about seven off the top of my head I can think of. Okay, hold on. Let me get... I was working on the spreadsheet. Okay, let me write some down. Let's we'll see if any of mine agree with yours. First languages, top 10. Yes. Okay, let me write something down here. Hold on. We've done something like this before. No, I don't think so. One, two, three, four, five. 
Ah, é bom, mano. Six. Um, seven, eight, uh, nine. Oh, this one I really don't think is right. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Okay, so this one is probably wrong. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have nine that I'm All right. I have eight that I'm more confident on. Okay. Well, tell what me you... what you got so far. Okay. Mandarin. We both have all circles. Okay, Mandarin? Yep. Spanish? Yep. English? Uh-huh. Arabic? Yep. Indonesian? Indeed, I don't have that. Okay, Russian. Yep. Punjabi. What's that? Punjabi. Who it's um, that? the language of um, India, isn't it? Hindi. Oh, Hindi. Yeah. Okay, so there's not a Punjab. Punjabi. I don't think that's. I don't think it's a word. <laughs> I, I don't think it's a major language. If, okay, if and language. Portuguese. Uh, I have that as a maybe. Okay, I have Egyptian as a maybe. Uh, okay. And I had I had Italian. I don't. I'm not. I've got that on my maybe. Yeah. Okay. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. There's got to be something like Swahili or something. Six word, uh, I I don't think so. I think most of the African languages are too fractured. Along yeah, the massive too, too number many. of countries in Africa. So man okay. Mandarin, Spanish, English, Arabic, Russian. Is Japanese or Korean? I I have Japanese on my list as a pretty confident. They're not very big though. What about German? There's a hell of a lot of people just in Japan alone. Is there a hell of a lot? There's a hell of a lot of people in Japan. Okay, Japanese. And what do you think of German? No, not German. I don't think so. What about French? I considered French. That's on my maybe list. It used to be the international language. Yeah, but it, it's most like this is a more current of a second list. language, though. I don't. Yeah. I think most places, like in the French colonies, they still they only learned it as a second language. But it's still like in my iffy list. I've got French, Portuguese, Italian, Cantonese. I think Portuguese should be on there because Brazil is massive. True. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Portuguese would make eight. I think there's another Chinese language we're missing. Cantonese is like, as far as I know, the other major Chinese language. China's huge. Right. So I think I Cantonese both, is a good idea. That's why I've got both on there. What do you think of Korean? I don't think so. I think it's pretty much just Korea. And I don't think it's Chinese? that big. I mean, it, it's up there, but I don't think it's in the top 10. What about Canadian, eh? <laughs> I'll slay in. What if you, if you were going to India? And I don't, I don't there would really... be Spanish, there'd be Hindi, there'd be English, but first languages, what would you be speaking in India? Probably Hindi. English. India, or you'd be speaking Hindi. Um, and not Hebrew, right? That's a very small group. I know it's strict about their. Oh yeah, no, not Hebrew. Definitely not Hebrew. Any questions? No. Okay. Um, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're at nine. I'm not spelling them right, but I've got nine. Okay, so so on your on your list there. Okay, on my on my maybe list, I have Italian, I have French, and I have Indonesian. But I like I, Italian of those three. Isn't but Indonesia is massive. I mean, who speaks Italian outside Italy as a primary language? That's true. Brooklyn. <laughs> no, okay. If you're in Indonesia, 
are there zillions of different languages over there? But it seems like there's the main one is Indonesian, right? Yeah, Indonesian's not bad. It's mm -hmm. massive. It's got so many people. That could be our number 10. Um there's a second language that's used over there, and I can't, I don't know why I keep still thinking it's Punjabi is a name. Well, I like the list that we've got Mandarin, English, Spanish, Arabic, Hindi, Russian, Japanese, Portuguese, Cantonese, Indonesian. There you go. That, that's good. One, I two, bet three, we've four, got five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Well, we're in the lead right now. I'm always on the, I'm always on the side of the team that's here. I think we've got at least seven. But no, I think we got close. Yeah, I can't. I can't think of. There's probably a, a another form of Chinese that we're missing. Or yeah, well, there'll be something in here that surprises us. Um. Yeah, like, pig Latin. Polish is on there. <laughs> Polish, no. Well, I'm thinking about the languages my team's edited in. Edit in. Beside, you know, the... yeah, but yeah, the problem is you're, you're skewed by what people are able to read, not necessarily what their right. primary language is. Um, it seems like there might be another Arabic language besides Arabic, something that's also really popular. I don't think I know which one that is. Um, well, I there's there's languages I wish we had editors in and i think indonesia we got one page written in indonesian we have another one that's in a language like that um of course they're not well read because people don't read that language in wikipedia but okay if the word punjabi is a word i i apologize if i just insulted somebody with a with a, <laughs> a slang that was not a real word well once we get out of here you can google it I don't, I'm not sure I could spell right. Punjabi. P-U-N-J-A-I? Punjabi? Well, Rob will tell us right now. He's probably using a Wikipedia. Well, we either got it or we don't. That was a good good. And of course, everyone included Pig Latin, right? Oh, I didn't even <laughs> think that. Oh, Esperanto. Yeah. I forgot Esperanto. Oh, yeah. He said okay, native so... speakers. Nobody's a native speaker of Pig Latin. What do you, what do you guys think? Obviously, Klingon. Oh yeah. I want, yeah I, want to hear from, I want to hear from the team leads of yeah. all the teams. Sorry, you don't get that point, Klingon. Carl. We also put what do, you, what do you think? What do you think you got? We think we got ten. Four one. We guessing think we got ten. Seven ish. Okay. I think we have ten. Seven okay. There we go. I think Number, we got it. Got it. Seven or eight. Okay. In the order of uh high to low. Number one. This should come as no surprise. Mandarin Chinese. Okay. At almost a billion people. Number two, not because of Spain, but because of the colonialism of Spain, Spanish at 485 million. And similarly, not because of the UK, but English is third. And then we get not a colonial power, but uh, just because it had a lot of people there is Hindi at 345 nice. million. Um, again, a tiny country, but their language was spread to South America in one other country, which is freaking huge, Portuguese. Uh, right. Talk us out of that one, Gail. I am so happy. Well, I, I, I knew who spoke it, but I didn't realize I, I had insisted it yeah, was right. going to be on there. Yeah. Right. And okay. um, at, let's see, number six, this is the one that I had no idea about, is Bengali at 200. Oh, Bengali. Oh, interesting. From Bangladesh. Wow. I was mm. about to say that when we were brought back here, because mm. oh wow, I, that's I, a that's a surprise. I had a Bengali office mate, and uh... yeah, I, I had no idea about that one. Number oh, seven, I heard a lot of people say this: Russia at 154 million. Yeah. Oh, we took it off. Damn. Uh, this was a surprise to me. I didn't know if I've been to Japan. I didn't know it was this populated. Japanese. Wow. I'm surprised. And then there is the other form of Chinese, which is Yu Chinese or Cantonese. Okay. And lastly, I'm wondering if anybody got this one. Vietnamese at 85 million. Oh, oh really? I said it. We yeah. talked about it. What, uh, what source are you using for this? Oh, 
I'll put this one. No, it wasn't actually. It wasn't a Wikipedia that did this. So uh, there we go. Translateddate.com, most spoken languages in the world. <laughs> wow. Because I'm sure there are other lists that are different. Could yeah. be. Mm -hmm. There's a third language in India, uh, Punjabi. Oh, so you're right. What did I say? What did I say, Carl? It's on the video. Punjabi, I was wondering if I was insulting people, if it was a bad word, but I said, I know I've heard this language called Punjabi, but then I was thinking maybe it's But not. it's not in the top 10. I it think is. we said oh, Urdu. Uh, uh, I can't believe Arabic. Urdu. And I, we weren't really oh, surprised. Arabic's we said not there. We had Arabic on our list, and I was very surprised that Arabic's not on the list. Yeah, I I very sweet. Sweet. We, we also Arabic. had Arabic. We did too. Yeah, I mean, you Let got to see how it rated. I guess, I guess like Iran's Farsi, right? Does it tell us after? Oh, it yeah, because Ar Arabic is, well. is limited, even though there are a lot of Muslims, right? Yeah. Arabic is limited to the Middle Eastern countries, most of which are very actually small populations. Uh, all Northern Africa is, Muslim, is speaks Arabic. Maybe so, not his first language? Yeah. Pretty much. I think everything north of the Sahara has Arabic as yeah. a first language. Well, well, kind of. Uh, there's yeah. a, there's an Morocco. educated, Morocco. like an academic Arabic that they don't normally teach to girls. So it's no, like there's... right there, it says half the people. Oh, no, that's uh, Oxford Arabic. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> but if you look at this, here's here's another. This is really interesting. We've talked about this before. This is Wikipedia, oh. but these are Wikipedia pages created in these languages. You would think that they would be the most popular languages, right? But. English. Well, it, de it depends where GSOW Spanish. has done its work. Yeah, yeah Dutch, popular right. languages and the most Italian, Portuguese languages. What is this? Nihogo. Wow, Nihogo's got a lot. N i h o n g o. I have no idea what that is. Niho. Probably Japanese. Or a typo. No, <laughs> and, well, there's <laughs> Russian. There's French. So the Japanese oh, cool. call Japan Nihon. Oh, yeah, you got to remember that these Nipponese. names, if you mouse over the, the ones I just gave you, that's how they say it. That's how it's right. said. It doesn't say Spanish. It says Espanol. A, right. 300, uh, a, a total of 375.4 million people worldwide speak Arabic as their mother tongue. Well, that's Sorry. not the thing that the based on that uh, was using. What, what is well, the I just source Google, I just Googled, I just Googled it. So, uh, yeah, and know. what is the source? Uh, it says World Data Info three, but then it says three hundred thirteen here. I I just googled it, so yeah. Oh, but, this is Japanese. Like I said, you're going to be able to find. Yeah. Apple.com has got a different list too that does include yeah. Arabic. As hey, you're going to find lots of different lists. There's yeah. different dialects of that too, as uh, that says here too. So. To well, yeah, that's for, that's not going to be the issue. Yeah. And they say first language speakers, st modern standard Arabic, zero. Total speakers, 274 million because Ara Arabic speakers speak local dialects like Egyptian Arabic, Mesopotamian Arabic. Oh. Variety. But oh, there's one called modern standard Arabic, which is an academic language used in literature and politics, but not everyday life. Yeah. As such, if you're interested in learning Arabic, you better start off with a dialect. <laughs> well, Paula Serrano is learning Arabic. It's, yeah. it's the most difficult really? of all the languages she's ever tried. Why? You know, she's, a, she's a translator. She's a translator, so she's like trying to upper upper game there. Yep. Ooh. Well, and where the demand is, I guess. My daughter, who's also a fluent French speaker, took one semester of Arabic in college and gave up. <laughs> can't do it <laughs> well also if you don't really have anybody completely talking different to different psychological map hmm. anyway it's, i find i find it all fascinating the the way we have this so let's go over to our let's go over to our cheat sheet and see how we did okay Have you guys ever noticed how many times people always say, I'm sharing my screen or how get something about sharing the screen as they share the screen? It's like yeah. they almost can't not say, I'm sharing my screen. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> I've noticed that. Okay. Susan, could you share your screen, please? Yeah. Okay. Sure. No problem. <laughs> but I didn't say it. So 20, we're sick of stupid. So really far, far apart here. People's changed their areas. We're sick of stupid Republican jokes, all 221 of them. Seven. Nice. Ooh, that's very respectable. Okay. And 16 or bust. Eight. You guys sure upped your game when I gave you cat. Look at that. Yep. Wow. Um, she was our good luck charm. Somebody needs to make sure we remind her. And we got more than 16. <laughs> you got to remind her what the day of the week is. Um, give <laughs> turn Josh the house speakership. Six. He'll do wonderful. And bed bug for speaker. Six. And it's not looking good. We held three votes and we still haven't selected a new team name. Eight. <laughs> I knew we did good. That is really amazing. Look at that. What is this error yeah. message up here? Rob, what'd you do? Oh, <laughs> okay. It's gone now. It went away. Wow. Interesting. Nice game. Yeah. 35 to, to 27. We, we the, won in golf the top scoring. Scores, um, some people took over. Yep. Well, we, we uh, are no longer in last place. So there's that. <laughs> We have quite quite a diverse group of categories today. You know what? That's true. We had a lot of diversity, and I love that. And and a little more difficult is fine with me. People I've worked with: food history trivia part two, Mexico City facts, Blazing Saddles, and ten most spoken languages. Those are really, really diverse. And the scores were three point eight to the sixes and sevens. So maybe one mm -hmm. more difficult category and there would be better. I'm impressed, okay. you guys. You've done well. So I'm going to see a lot of you at PsyCon. The others, I'm not going to see you at PsyCon. I'm sorry, but I'll be posting. I'll a put a reminder stuff. in my calendar. So I'll, I'll note next Thursday. Okay. Mm -hmm. You might want to yeah. remind yourself early in the day. Yeah, so they're they're going to tell sleep. the body they can get in trivia. Hey, hey Susan, I just noticed we had the same exact average score for the entire game as last week. That is just bizarre. Really? Whoa. 30.4. Let me, let me, oh, 30.4. Let me show you. Guys. A glitch in the matrix, Rob. Bizarre. Let me share my screen. <laughs> hey, why don't you yeah. share your screen? 30.4, 32, 37, 36, 33, 26, 33. Hmm. Maybe we should have a data person, somebody who's really good at data and statistics, maybe to. <laughs> To analyze that and see what we've the, got someone here who's constant. Yeah, and I think maybe I've heard come of up with guy. some uh, some visualization that would uh, Ooh, bring predictive. out the the texture. Ooh, but he's rather skeptical about anything we're doing here. Right. Well, right. As, as are all of us. So at we least we should be. Yeah. Very we just good. need to move that data into a database yeah. instead yeah, of get a, a really good database could... programmer with a lot of free time. Oh, that's you, Carl. Database to put that in. And then try to try to predict what the next ones will be. Ooh, next week. Carson says it's bedtime. Good night, guys. Yeah, yeah I'm looking yeah. forward to seeing some of you in person. Yeah. 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 When are we going to see you? Have fun in, in Vegas. You and Brandy, when are we going to see you yeah. guys? Gail? Well, I'm, I'm here. I'm, I know, but I'll be there. Gonna... By the way, um, you all are going to have hotel rooms probably. Brandy, this is probably mostly for you, but yeah. we decided to rent a room just so we had another place to go if we want to rest or a break or something. And if anybody needs a place to sleep, probability is we're not going to be using our room. My niece and nephew are coming. Are they, they really? Stay. Yeah. They, oh, they, they used to come for Tam all the time, and they didn't because of COVID, but they're now coming oh, wonderful. Uh, from Michigan for this. So they're going to stay with us in our Where house. Is it? You don't know them, I don't think. I used to go to town. Yeah, there was only a thousand people. We know yeah. everybody. Well, I knew a lot of people. How old are they, Gail? Well, Susan knows everybody. They're they're uh, probably in their forties by now. And they're they have they, they, they're, 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 their oldest their oldest child is a, are twins that are in college. So, so so this is a sibling of yours. No, actually, this is a sibling. My wife, Lynn, it is her brother's and brother, her brother, her sister's son and his wife. 
Okay, okay. Niece and laws. Uh, family. Uh, your your oh, niece, well, niece and nephew, but niece and nephew by marriage, right? Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, okay, okay. That's a real niece and nephew. That, well, yeah, but I was just thinking it was not Jamie's kids because he's never no. mentioned it. No, his his kids aren't in the United States. Yeah, and I <laughs> was thinking you had a lot more siblings, so yeah. got me confused. Well, we haven't. I we have a another brother, and I have a half sister that I talked about. <laughs> So you yeah. so they're not gonna they're not gonna stay in that hotel room. Uh probably not because they're they have to leave. She has to go be back for work. So they have to leave very late. They got a flight in order to be back for Monday. She got a flight out late at night on Saturday. So they're leaving Saturday night. I thought they might use the room Saturday night before going to their flight. They'll probably use it just as a place to wait and change clothes or whatever, but um, so we have the room Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. It's the party room. Oh. <laughs> well, don't tell us that because that'll end up happening. Well, we can do that. <laughs> well, it might be disruptive, so I don't know if you really want us to do that. Are uh, you disruptive? disruptive? What are you talking about? We want about? us to kick back for, for a little while, right? And right. if we decided we wanted to stay overnight. It's a good idea. Fine. So you don't have to go back and forth to your house. So is... So, Brandy, you're working probably. Good night, everybody. Right? Nope. Night, ben. I'm night, ben. Off. Night, ben. night, I'm off Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Excellent. Okay. So I don't know how much transportation do those of you staying have away from the trip. I, I wasn't planning on leaving the casino, except I'm going to go to CVS and pick up some stuff or something. Some I'm going to. Bye, Cindy. Good night. Bye, Cindy. Good to see you. What, I, what I'm thinking, Susan, is if you wanted to, you're coming in on Wednesday, did you say? Tuesday. 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 If you'd wanted to go out for dinner or something, we could even come pick you up if you'd like. Well, I don't know if I want to go somewhere. When well, I'm, I'm going to stay. It's only Susan because just wants to eat the we have the wonderful Las day. Vegas restaurants that aren't the three in that hotel. I know of a real terrific uh, barbecue place. They there's, serve, there's, they serve a barbecue sauce. Amazing, they there's an incredible, a lot of incredible restaurants in Las Vegas. All of them would be wasted on Susan. Yeah. I was gonna say, good luck getting Susan D <laughs> anywhere. So cool. Like I would go to the Jada restaurant, whatever her name is. Jada. Oh yeah. That's, uh, yeah. Susan, I, I do you like dim sum? I'm, I'm I love glad. dim sum and I've, I, I've eaten at a fantastic place in Vegas, a dim sum place. And when my food. niece and nephew come, we're gonna we're, pro we're probably gonna take them there. We could take you there too. Susan wants to <laughs> keep no, right, I Susan. Food and I aren't <laughs> good friends. I I eat very ugh, boring food. So So you don't mind the fact that there's no there's no good place to eat in that that hotel. I'm going to probably get some of those snack things that have like Lucky Charms in it or something. <laughs> <laughs> Look at okay. Deborah. Hey, I am a cheap milk dog. Yes, hey, I know. <laughs> there's, there's no reason to spoil me with food. I Robin, mean, what time do you get in on? You're coming in Thursday, right? Yeah, I'm coming in. I think I fly, I think I leave here at like 2.30 in the afternoon. So I'll get there around 7 or something. Okay. On Thursday? Yeah, okay. actually, I better check that to make sure my sphere ticket is up. What okay. and what day is your sphere ticket? Thursday. Thursday. Oh, you're going to the night. Oh, you're going. You're going to miss the opening thing, huh? No. We're yeah. going to the sphere on Thursday. No, we're going to go to the opening thing. Show. We're going to the opening. Just thing. missing Dawkins. Yeah. And Rob, I don't know yeah, why I don't I have mean. you on here. We're when going to the in? four o'clock show and then running back in time for Dawkins. Rob, when do you come in? I come in on Wednesday. At. Pat? Oh, I put I put her on the wrong time, Robin. At seven p.m. on Thursday. Oh, that's have right. a good night, everyone. I'll see some bye, of Kat. you next Thursday. Bye. Bye. Okay, uh, bye, Cat. Make sure you show week. up. It'll be a bye. half crowd. Yeah. My my flight lands at three forty on Wednesday. Um, for Shasper. And Deborah, I don't have a time for you. You come in on Wednesday. Hang on, I'll tell you when when That's time. Perfect. You have to look it up on my because Mark we'll be and I will and uh, Mark and I will be yes, there she's Tuesday. She's having an anxiety at, at by one o'clock, and then Carl comes in at four, and Donna and and um, 
and uh, Kenny Biddle will already be there. So we'll probably have dinner on Tuesday night after Carl gets there. My, my plane lands around three on Wednesday. Okay. So you'll be there by about four. Yeah. My plane lands at 6.30 p.m. on, that's Thursday the 26th. Mm -hmm. So seven. So I better check my sphere ticket. I think I have to take the cab straight to the sphere. <laughs> oh, wow. You won't even be there for the you Cut that opening? freaking close. That's well, like the meet and greet is so much fun. That's Deborah, everybody in one room all yeah. hugging each other. Deborah, I'm coming in at three on Wednesday also. Ooh, oh, perfect. You, yeah, maybe we, do you want to share a ride or something? Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Change, uh, yeah, check with them. Um, no, wait, with, our, our right. sphere thing is at 9.30 p.m. Right. The next day. On Friday? Thursday, October 26th at 9.30 p.m. Thursday. Right. What, what, so my, you... my plan lands at 6.30, so I've got three hours between on them. On Thursday? Be good. But Jane, you're coming in on Wednesday, though. Yes. yes. Yeah, okay. And you're going into the main airport, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. okay. Robin, why did you get your, I'll have to get your phone number so we can text. Do you have yeah. to work? Okay. I have to work, and... um. I didn't. What, why would I get there on Wednesday? I, I'm well, not I'm doing anything on Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> That's you. <laughs> Carl's coming in on Tuesday. Yep. Because because well, there's always so much to do, so that's why I, I didn't want to miss out on the fun. Who's the one who's yelling at me for getting in on Wednesday? Said I should. I know that's Monday late. What the hell, Rob? You know better. You went in on a Wednesday last year, Susan. But what time? I what know, time does the opening YouTube. stuff start at the at the um, um, flamingo? <laughs> Thursday is the workshop. I mean, Thursday, there's like workshops and stuff during the day, but I, I, right. I didn't the, sign up. For and this. the opening is in the evening. I think yeah, it's seven o'clock. Anybody have it open? I'm, I'm opening it right now. Let's see. Yeah. So I'm going to, I'm going to get a cab at six thirty. Thursday, oh. the opening reception is at seven. Yeah. yeah I'll be, the, I'll be the there at exactly gonna be seven gone before you get there, Robin. I'll be, I'll be pulling my little carry on behind me as I walk into the, the registration. We got our tickets for the, for the, oh fear for four o'clock because it's an hour and a half and we figured we could get back by seven because it's yeah that time. makes sense who are you going with just you and lynn and your and boy the, and my niece and nephew in the, in the nimblings okay and the rest of us are going at 9 30 right yeah yeah i'm mm -hmm. too old to go at 9 30 and still be there ready the next morning yeah me too <laughs> of course that's, i looked at it i'm not doing anything at 9 30 so carl um on uh wednesday morning It'll just be you, me, and Mark, and then Kenny. Well, Kenny and Kenny and Donna will probably be working, so we should have breakfast, like probably at that Marge's, or unless you can think of another, if there's a better breakfast dining, because Thursday, Friday, and Saturday and Sunday, I'm not going to be able to eat breakfast. Marge's is that the place where we have the farewell breakfast? Yeah, it's where we have our farewell because yeah, yeah. I just can't get up early enough, and and I'm not hungry, and then I get to the, I got to go to my table. I have a table. So I'm running and I have to be there at eight o'clock. So eight o'clock, I I mean, I'm normally not even out of bed till 930 here. So I can't imagine I got to be up and dressed and ready to go at eight. I probably won't eat. That's why I'm probably going to get like some cereal or something for breakfast that I could just eat really quick. So the only day I could go to breakfast like intentionally is is on Wednesday and, and Monday. Then Monday. Yeah, so assume unless you think of a better place to have breakfast, that's what I'm thinking of. Yeah, What's the just... sphere? You guys are all talking about the sphere. Oh my God. You better oh, Google it. Huh? Big deal. You, you Google really it. aren't on social media, are you, Jenny? There's this big <laughs> giant you Google search for the sphere and you'll find out all about it. It's, it's big new deal. It's only been open a couple of weeks. I'm not going, Janine. Oh. Last last expensive. year it was under construction. We were all going, what is that thing? Yeah. What is that big ball? What are they doing over there? Where is it located? Um, Within right walking the distance of the flamingo. Yeah. Yeah, but which direction? It's north northeast. Yeah, northeast. In the link with is it towards the, right, the, the airport? Away from the airport. Is it towards the Bellagio? Or is it towards Eric? It's north. Northeast. Or towards it's a fifteen it's a fifteen minute walk northeast. But I don't know which I don't have my directions in Las Vegas. Away from the airport. 
yeah. away from the airport, the yeah, other the way. Flamingo's north of the airport. And yes. you okay. kind of go towards the Flamingo oh, and kind of bear right a little bit. Yeah, the airport's south from there. I would like to, I would, I'm happy to go to the pinball machine. I don't think we're going to go through the, through Sacramento. So. Well, if you're going to go on five uh, north, uh, Sac Sacramento's there. It's not, it's not a detour. Yeah, I don't think we'll be that far east. Uh, Carl just put a we'll link to, we'll to the Wikipedia page for you, Janine. So. Susan, if you want to go to the pinball museum, I could take you Saturday. No, Saturday. I won't leave the casino. I won't leave the place until Saturday Friday. night. Uh, well, Halloween party, party, I think, isn't it? The party Saturday night, isn't it? Yeah, that's yeah. our Halloween oh. party. Yeah, yeah. Once once the conference hits, I don't. I I can't breathe. It's, yeah, it's mm -hmm. it's, it's almost twenty four seven. Yeah, it is 24 seven. So like the only time I really have any time to do anything is Tuesday night. So well, that's have fun, everybody. Okay. How about Wednesday night? Two weeks. Bye. Oh, and it's Wednesday night. Jane, what, what day, what night are you, or when are your sphere tickets? Thursday night. Thursday. At when? 9.30. So you're going to 9.30. I'm so, going to so four. Even Wednesday, I probably won't have time to do anything because people are all going to be arriving. And then we have uh, a bunch of us have tickets to the Michael Jackson show on Sunday night. Sunday yes. night. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Are you coming to Typically, that? Jane? I do nothing other than just. We're going to yeah. see Penn and Teller. Yeah. Uh, are you coming to Michael um, Jackson on Sunday night? No. Uh, we're going to Penn and Teller on Sunday night. Okay. Who am I going to Michael Jackson with? <laughs> Wendy. Oh, Wendy. The, the, Wendy. The person who transferred the, Wendy. the person who transferred the ticket to you, Robert. <laughs> um i don't have i think i think wendy's got my ticket you're going uh, rob right i went Sunday. why is wendy have you oh she went, I, I, gave her money. I think she's got all the tickets okay she bought 10 yeah she better show she so better there show is up. actually there is actually an opening i think she's got one opening she better show up she's gonna show up <laughs> i ain't going so Gail, you're going nervous. on thursday at 4 30 to the sphere four it's four o'clock show over 5 30 that is actually a good time. That, to go that's on Thursday, there. right? It's so on that's, Thursday. That's the 26th. I'm looking at the ticket thing right now. It's an hour and a half. According to the concert hall. Two hours. It, it's basically a concert hall, but they also do Two this hours. America thing. Yeah, they've only, well, they've only had what America thing? That's what it's hard from Earth. So the, according to the ticket thing on my right. phone, it's at 4.30, not 4. Oh, maybe it is at 4.30. Yeah. Yeah, so I, could, I don't know what you, you mean by almost, America. You could, you're going to miss a little. America, bit that's just, that's the thing. But you could do it. And that America, be a good time to do it. Yeah. We don't remember that being the name of the show. It's a postcard from Earth. Yeah, it's not America. Yeah. Postcard from Earth. Okay. It's, are you going to see a different show than we are? It's no. It's just just a show. It's not a concert, right? Yeah, right. Nothing, There's a U2 nothing, concert nothing on to do with Tuesday, America, I think. Yeah, they U2 was the first was the first thing they did. And they're and doing they it again. This, they right now have two things going. This this extravaganza show that's just for the visual and the concert with you two. Mm. Is there like other stuff inside there or is it just the theater? If there's other no, stuff. Apparently just is not, doesn't go in front of it. Some of my students that worked worked on preparing it said that it's the, it's the latest technology and he, they said it should be absolutely spectacular. And from what you can see from the outside, it is. Yeah. But it's I was wondering, once you go in the there, is there, is there other stuff to look at when you're in there? Or there you just, there's yeah. about an hour in the entryway before you get into the theater to see the show. And it's all that's like, not what I meant. Stuff. What I meant is, is yeah. are there other exhibits or anything else inside that's not? That's what I'm kind of saying. You go in and there are exhibit things. There's AIs that oh, talk okay. to you, there's all things right, like right. that. All right. I thought that was they let like... you in to your seat. That's my understanding. Sounds like and I also read on, technology. on Yelp that it's really, really steep, like to get to the seats. It's not like easy. I think there's escalators, but apparently like they get backed up. So yeah, okay. if somebody's got, mm, that might be a problem. Yeah. Okay. I don't know if Brandy's done any investigation. Brandy's in charge. She's yeah. on the she's on the ground there. He's got to do these things. I'll tell you, they were screwed up with one thing. And, and Brandy knows this because she helped me out. Right. I, I I was asking people who wanted to go. I got nine people. And then Brandy said, oh, nine, you get a discount. 
And so I went and uh, Dunning was saying, oh, I'm skeptical of that. <laughs> and it turned out <laughs> to be right. But there's a button right on the website which says nine tickets, push here for di group discount. So unbelievably, you push that and it goes to a so totally different site where now you're filling out a form instead of just picking seats. And then when you get to the end, it says, okay, tell me what 10, 10 or more seats you want to buy. Wait a minute. It said nine. nine. So no, I don't want to buy 10. I only have people to buy nine. So then I go back to the eight. I go back to the other regular area and I pick the seats and it won't let me take nine. So there is no way to buy nine seats. So yeah, the numbers guess what, the thing have only been open a few weeks. They're working those things out. Now. Right. So, so, so I bought all the eight together and I said, can anyone buy, you know, is anyone available right now to buy one more seat in our group? And then Brandy bought it. Did you get yeah, a discount? And guess what? what? I ended up buying the wrong uh, time for my show. Oh, no. So, yeah. Because they don't tell you which seat you have until you're like, they're buying it. It doesn't show you the actual seat number. So you did it totally different than I did. I hit the show, the date, the time, and then it shows you seat, and you click on the seat. I didn't get that, but I was on my phone too. Cause um, it was like, I woke up at five in the morning and saw your messages and I was <laughs> like, shit, no one's done this yet. And it seemed like they were selling out fast. So I just like, got on my phone and was trying to do it and it couldn't it wouldn't let you pick like an exact seat so i'd go in and like i had to do it like three or four times to get the right seat and i guess on the fourth time or whatever i picked the wrong time that time mm -hmm. so i had to call them to get it refunded and i keep like checking and checking and checking to make sure that because it exchange you can do an exchange oh okay so I did that, but it's still showing the wrong time on there. And I'm like, what the hell's going on? So I'm like, okay, I'll just I give it a day. it's still brand new and that's what the problem is. Right. Did they fix it? Tell me the bottom line. Did they fix it? I still don't know. I'm still waiting to find out. Oh, oh. On the phone, they reassured me twice that I called saying <laughs> that it's fine on their end. Everything's fine, but it's not showing up correctly on the app. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at it right now, and the tickets are anywhere from like a hundred and something to four hundred dollars per ticket. No, eighty nine plus tax and tip and whatever so tax fees. We, 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 we bought the four hundred dollar ones, Deborah. <gasps> yeah, sure you. <laughs> so I'm looking at like section two hundred six, which is really close up to the front. Is three hundred and sixty six dollars. Yeah, look look at the rear section. They're 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 eighty nine. It says and it winds up being ninety. Well, the only ones left are the four hundred something or others, and they're oh, there's no there's no tickets left. Well, there's some in the ninety eight dollar one. The first, the first one sold out completely. The first, yeah. that first the selling. section three hundred four, which is on the side, is one hundred and eleven. Wow, this sounds like so much trouble. I am so glad I d decided not to go. I am. You know, buying going. tickets is a. I'll big go the next year and when so it's easier. I, I really appreciate Rob and Brandy both for going to the hassle of doing it, and to Janine for buying our tickets for the show we're going to. It is such a hassle to buy tickets. The fees on it. Too. And interestingly, oh. it doesn't have to be. And I didn't have all the hassle you folks are having. Because I needed handicapped access. Oh. And they gave me a special number for handicapped access. And we just had a lovely conversation. Although she assured me that uh, there was not a bad seat in the house. Oh, that's nice. That's I'm going to take my dogs out. I'll leave this on yeah. in case you guys are still chatting when I get back. Okay. I got to go because yeah. I got to work. Yeah, I don't understand why anybody would pay $400 in that particular arena because the freaking screen is the whole freaking oh. thing. It's like bizarre to sit up in front of it. And then you have to look back over your head at the rest of it. It's like bizarre. Well, I don't get some it. Of the the, some of the seats further back are more expensive. <laughs> so I guess they come with a foot massage. Might be. <laughs> I think they decide that. I don't know. That would be somebody, nice. somebody gives you a pedicure. That would be perfect. Actually, Susan, right. what I was thinking was, by next year, when it's been around for a year, this might be a good trip for for the group. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking it sounds amazing, but this has just only been open for a few weeks, and it's so expensive. They, they have not gotten the kinks out. And all kinds of stuff, probably, and they'll get it. And Brandy's going to be sitting there all alone when she goes. No. No, she's not mm -hmm. going to be. She's got her. Nobody's alone. There'll be 17,000 people in there, I think. But nobody she knows. But on the fine. website, They've it's said. showing now that I got the right time. Oh, okay, good. That's right. good. So it might work if I 
log in just not on using the app or maybe if i delete the app and reinstall it maybe it'll show up that's a good idea rob or log out just log there, out log and there's out. going to be seventeen thousand people there i predict there's probably somebody in there that she knows <laughs> and you know what else? but she won't know that they're there that she but knows. when well, you're going to a movie you're a really place. sitting i mean do you really need to sit next to people that you know i mean it's not like you're in a whole hands or something <laughs> maybe i want to hold hands with someone well you can still hold hands like with someone you know? <laughs> it just won't be somebody from our group it'll be some stranger well, maybe maybe i'm like what's her name bobert <laughs> that's exactly what I was thinking, Brandy. And none of our people want to sit by uh -oh. you, Brandy. <laughs> but the uh -oh. thing is, that's disqualified. Yourself. What you want to do is you go with a group, and then you like, mm -hmm. even though the Gail and, and um, uh, Lynn are going to go, and, and the um, other people are going to go. The and Kevin. Yeah. Okay. Now, so now I'm concerned, going, Brandy, because I, I had a, you could talk about it afterwards. You're all I had a divvy. I had to divvy up the seats as to who got what, and I'm sitting next to you. So, oh, oh you're wow. not anymore because I had to change the row I'm in. Oh, really? So they wouldn't give you the seat you took at the same time. Yeah, but she's got the right. Day so now I'm in now. twenty instead of nineteen. And now she has uh, to make so. out with a stranger. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. God damn it. I'm sure. So you know what's, what's your seat number? That. Brandy, take some skittles and eight. hit them on top of the head. It's still eight. Who am I sitting next to? I think that's Robin. Oh, Who? Robin. You can hold her hand. She'll all right, be well, we gotta start playing the music. <laughs> 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 Let me look. I actually wrote them. You guys down. are just okay. having so much fun. That's Robin, good. yes, Robin will is, start is me, I think I'm sitting nine. next to you, and then the music will start playing. Yeah. <laughs> if you guys left uh, the AI companion on, be sure to check it before you leave. Just so oh, good Lord, okay. no. <laughs> you know, Lee isn't going. Lee Pinter's not going. I'm so disappointed. Mm. So many people that I know that I assumed would be going aren't going. I was like, what? Lee, kind of like going. you came close, but you just couldn't get someone to take care of the llamas. Oh, Lee really wanted to go. I feel bad because I know he really would like. Uh, to Lee go. Pinter not going? No, Lee Pinter. And yeah, Lee. Yeah. The that was just here. Or two yeah, yeah, ago. yeah. Lee would really like to go. He's never been, but, but he's yeah, got, he's I, got I, no, I, nobody watched the llama. You're talking about the other Lee and Lee Pinter from Arkansas, who's always there. Yeah, she's I, not going. You know who is? Can't remember playing? the last time she wasn't there. Oh, I know. And she didn't tell me why. She just couldn't make it. You know who is going, Robin? Robin Cantor, who uh, Deborah knows. Oh, he's, Canton. Yeah, right. He's our board he's member so for about oh, time. Yeah. Oh, he and his daughter are going to be there. So that's good. They're coming from Montreal. I, I just posted or just pasted the, the AI thing that, that was on mine in the chat. Here, wait, let me hit enter. Charlie springing his granddaughter. First part of Charlie's it. Like, really wins coming? Charlie spring, Charlie wins bringing his granddaughter. Oh, that's nice. Mm -hmm. he's, he so apparently, Nick cycle. Little is leaving the CFI. Mm -hmm. Yes. Is? Meeting involved. Who is Nick Little? What? It's on Facebook that he's Lawyer? leaving Oops. CFI and he won't be at Psycon. Why is he leaving? He got a job somewhere else. Let me see. Mm. He's got the homeopathy is he, thing. He's going to be a Trump. I know. Lawyer? He, he, Trump needs new lawyers because they keep quitting. Yeah. Um, let's see he's right. surely not going to help Trump. He's not going to get paid if he does. He... Yeah, I know. Nobody gets paid if they go. Oh help yeah. Here, Trump. Uh... <laughs> let's do this. Oh, how yeah. sad. Share screen. I see it now, Nicholas. Oh, you found it. Yeah, yeah. It's post. I don't have it. Share it. Well, it's just he's just saying it's time to make public after 10 years as a legal director. Ugh. Let's see if I'm moving on. Starting in November, I'll be the deputy general counsel at Middle East Broadcasting Networks. This is he's made a lot of friends. He won't be at CFI. There it is. Ah. Hmm. Well, um, Eric will be there, Schaefer. And also, I believe. Gosh, it's so sad. So many people aren't going to be there. They're telling us next year. Hmm. Yeah. Well, Will that be enough to make sure there's one following you? Hmm? Or is Barry going to have is Barry going to have to make the decision after this year whether there's going to be one in 2025? No, there is a next one. There's a 2024, but how far ahead of time do they have to commit for 
2025. Probably right away. Yeah. So you would think that this, the attendance in this one's going to have a big waiting of whether there'll be one after in 2025. The next yeah, absolutely. Is the, is the number down? Do you know? Yeah, they're only going to have maybe 500 people here. Are we still recording? Yeah, I was just thinking the same thing.